I kindly and humbly request that we all rise for the singing of the national anthem. I request that those of us who are men and have heads, we remove them. We, we may be seated. I would like to take this opportunity to welcome everybody present here this morning. My name is Lisa Mangu. Lisa Mangu. I'm the chairperson of the session and of the portfolio committee of transport that is here. On the stage here are members of the portfolio committee on transport from parliament. And I will introduce all of them, and as I introduce them, I ask them just to rise up and acknowledge the audience. On my extreme right is Honorable Miriam Ramadwa, Member of Parliament. Greetings. Next to her is the Honorable John Bilankulu, who is also a member of Parliament. Next to him is Honorable Fikile Kumalo, who is a member of Parliament. Next to her on my immediate right is Honorable Lawrence MacDonald, member of Parliament. On my immediate left is Honorable Tamsangra Mabena, Member of Parliament. Next to him is Honorable Makosini Chabangu, Member of Parliament. Next to him is Honorable Makosini Chabangu, Member of Parliament. 
Greetings. On the extreme left, last but not least, is Honorable Ketamabala Sitole, Member of Parliament. Ketamabala Sitole. Thank you very much, colleagues. Um, we are ready to start the program. We apologize for those who arrived here uh, earlier as the time was set for 10 o'clock. You woke up uh, very early in the morning and uh, you were here, which we do appreciate. The program here, as you can see, is a program of parliament. And therefore, for the duration of this session, the area we are in, or the hall, will be deemed as a parliamentary sitting place. Which means, should there be a need to invoke parliamentary rules, which means should there be a need to invoke parliamentary rules, they will be invoked and applied. The program is very brief. We have already introduced ourselves and everybody is welcome. I will take you through highlights. We believe that there have been workshops. There are copies of the bill available. There are pamphlets with a summarized version of the bill. And that information would have prepared the audience Immediately after my introduction, we will immediately invite yourselves to talk to us, which is why we are here to listen to you. We are not here to talk as we always talk, but we are here to listen to yourselves. And we will not be engaging or answering specific direct questions. As the purpose of the session, is to hear from you what you would like to see incorporated in this rail safety bill before us. Is to hear from you what you would like to see incorporated in this rail safety bill before us. So for the duration of the session, I will ask to be seated so that I can be more comfortable. The bill before us is a rail safety bill. It is a bill that is intended to The bill 
The bill is in the main focused around safety on rail. A couple of introductions are made in the bill. In the main, the bill gives the minister, amongst others, some certain responsibilities. On how to appoint a board, how to appoint a chief executive officer, the bill also seeks to bring in some certain responsibility to the rail safety regulator. The rail safety regulator is an entity of the Department of Transport which is tasked to oversee safety on rail. When we talk rail, we talk passenger rail. We talk rail, we talk passenger rail and freight rail. So, the bill, in essence, its main focus and thrust, as I said, is on safety. The process where it is at now the bill was advertised people were invited to give written comments and now the portfolio committee on transport is visiting all provinces to get people to input on this
do it. We are going to take hands. We are going to take ten at a time. And each person is going to sit at the chairs. There will be people directing you where to sit. And you will be able to express yourself in the language of your choice and the language you are comfortable with. What we ask is that we limit our input to not more than three minutes to give as many people an opportunity to speak. What we also request is that we go straight to your input. If you'd introduce yourself who you are, do you represent an organization or you are coming just as an individual citizen? And then you go straight to your input. We also request that we limit ourselves to what is before us, the rail safety bill. And that is where I will leave it so that we can immediately start. There are public facilities or toilets I believe they are at the back, there are some upstairs, but I'm sure if you do need to use a facility, there will be people that can direct you. So we are ready now to listen and I will start taking hands. Was there agreement to start this side? I see more hands this side. Okay, let's start this side. You are number one, my sister. You are number two. You are number three. You are number four. You are number five. You are number six. You are number seven. You are number eight. You are number nine. And number ten right next to you. Then we will then take the next round. We can drop our hands. Everybody is going to have an opportunity to speak. So I repeat again, you introduce yourself, if you represent an organization, which organization, if not, you just say your name and uh, you are representing yourself. Then And committee 
and then go na le metse e leng ka kwa ga sporo sa train so ne ke kopela fela ma bridge gore kgone go tshelela ka kwana ka le bo thank you for the opportunity my name is basetsana and then what i would like to put before you chair is that uh, from uh, our area in madibeng uh, we do have a train that moves very fast and the problem is that we have young ones who keep crossing the rails from time to time so we would like to request please that bridges be built so that they can be used by these kids to cross from one end to the next and then if we can have them this will help a lot thank you very much Uh, morning, everyone. My name is Murigo Seful. I'm from uh, Ward 18 in Madiven section. Uh, beautiful people, my, my, my note was a question, and then it's somehow a guideline to, to guide you guys. My, my, my question is on page 23, a consultative forum. Ha, ha, has it been established in the consultative forum? Uh, from, from, from my understanding, I am from the same ward as the sister here. Uh, we, 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 we are facing some difficulties uh, as a community. It's a stretch of around six kilometers from four different stations. We are in between. The, the railway is in between two locations. So we try as much and as many as to help Prasa because Prasa is the most which uh, we, 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 we directly communicate with. Uh, secondly, it was a matter of uh, our safety because these people who are stealing your, your wires, your coppers, everything, they almost affect us as, as much as you are. So for us to have a way forward, do we have a consultative forum? Because for us to, to we, we, we can identify as much as many problems, but we have to wait again for, for, for months to come because it's a promotion of all provinces. And our, our, our problem is imminent. It's something which, even if we, we, we depart from here, I might find at home that one of our brother's cow has been ran off by a train or a, a, a transnet a transport. So what we need to know is what's, or where are you about the consulting forum? And again, it's an issue of permits. We are very disadvantaged. We are from the community which is very uh, disadvantaged. We need to engage, we need to be part and parcel of this thing. So as advantageous as we are, or disadvantaged as we are, we still need more, but more can be done through forums. That was my issue. Thanks. Ekeratahotalosafanofakore,lena pele Kamanzoma it's fine. It's a to me later that it happened like a Mohara di Pelotaron. Get one maga who kill it last Moloto, kill what committee are what 17. The very same problems my previous colleagues van and let's on again, let's on, but a regular say, Dinta, 
se ke batlang ho di totobatsa because of eh rona ho na le metsana e meng e e tlhahileng motho ha di station tsa rona ene ho na le movement o monchi ka mo hara ha sporo from batho ba ba itlhomileng ka mo le siteng le leng la station go tla ka mo di shopong so building a bridge ke one year solution but hub solution in re batla ho beef up with security around eh 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 the railway lines tsa rona because of batho ba ya ba ba committee society ona ka mo re batla hore ntho e e tlo khona go thusa sechaba sa rona and again eh eh ke 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 tlhora boroko ya cable e head fela security se ka beef up wa mo di station en tsa rona ranna le hape the station manager mo lo reng re ka isa ditletle botsa rona government is too far from us so he re ka isa ditletle botsa rena mo di station manager tsa khona hore di ditlise a kitse towards mmc wa transport and whatever maybe ke mo re ka krang di solution e hape mo di mamo ke a le bo Thank you very much. My name is Klaas Moloto. Uh, I am basically having very same problems that have already been mentioned by some of the previous speakers here, and I'm also from the same place that is in Makau, Ward number 17, and I am a member of the Ward Committee. So now what I want to like to mention is just a few points. Uh, Chair, we've got a lot of villages that are actually spreading just next to the rail lines and this is a big problem because they spread um, even up to the areas where the shops are. There is a lot of informal settlements there. Now the biggest problem that we have, why I'm mentioning this, is that uh, people are committing suicide in these particular rail, uh, railroads and we need to arrest this problem somehow. Yes, we need to, br to build the bridges as already mentioned and number two, we need to beef up security uh, around these railroads. Uh, so that the people can stop committing suicide as they are doing. We've got big problems when it comes to cables, and also we would like to maybe have some station managers established in these areas so that they can be able to receive our grievances and hand them over to the NEC because uh, the stations where we can actually hand over our grievances for them to be given attention are too far from us. So these are just some of the few points that I wanted to put before you. Thank you very much. Uh, morning, everyone. My name is Debo Minyoko from Tlavani, Ward 10. Um, I would like by saying um, Transparency and accountability is key, very important. Another thing that is important, I think, is to have, um, to implement board members so that they can be able to run this issue of rail uh, transportation. Board members are very important in those places that people are residing so that they can be able to give more inputs on what is happening. The other thing that I noticed that is important, all this um, railway uh, traffic, especially there are no fencing. There must be fence for security reasons so that it's only the, uh, the train that will be moving in that particular uh, uh, tracks. If they are fencing in between, I think the issue of people that are sometimes uh, died on the rail tracks, it will be uh, limited. Another thing is um, the traffic lights, especially if you look at most of our uh, places there where the uh, a train that are passing, there are no traffic lights that will alert the passengers or alert also anybody that the train is coming. Also, it is so imperative 
to also have the stations where there is a, a traffic where people are passing by. There must be some inspectors that there will be maybe a building there. They will also make sure that the train is coming and people will be alert that the, the, the train is coming. The other thing, maybe the bull bus, electrical ones, that will be able to stop the cars that will be passing by. And then the other thing is, um, it's important, if, I know in Tlavani, I mean Tlavani, there was a bridge that was supposed to have been built to be completed. We don't know what happened to the funding of that because there was a bridge pertaining to this issue. So it's very important. And I was very privileged enough to have been deployed in Toronto and Canada as a South African diplomat. And the service that the, the, it's rendered there, it's a first class world. I know our uh, ministers, usually they will travel the world and they will also see that other countries, how they, they do their, their job, how the inspectors has been respected, how our trains have been monitored. There were subways and every time the inspectors in that particular train. And another thing, the disabled people needs to be given an opportunity so that they can be, uh, they can be you know, they will be in a train, but in South Africa, I've never seen a train that will give disability people a place, a designated area for those people. It's so important because the inspector will come from outside and come into the train. I'm talking about where I was. And then he will come and make sure this particular person, he's, he's there and he's very comfortable wherever he stays. There will be some safety belt. There will be safety belt for those particular person. I think we need to change the mindset. And we need also to do the right thing so that people can be comfortable. If you want the trains to be back, definitely that's what we need to do. Thank you so much. Ward number 10. Make ke gore ga rena di traffic lights tse e leng gore ha di trena di tla e di khona go bontsha batho le go batlhagisa gore trena ya tla boiporo tsa rona ga di na seo ke bothata jo botona re batla gore go nne le security maybe le ga apereletsa e kete go ka agelelwa ka fence e ka mo mathoko a diporo tsa rona seno se tla fedisa go tlhola batho ba ntse ba swela mo diporong ja ka ha go setse go ntse go tlhalositswe ka tlo se se tla thusa nthata ke tsona di traffic light tse ne tse tse re buang ka tsona me bile gape re letsa le gore ha ntse di koloi di feta di trena di feta go nne le tsela ya go tlhagisa batho ka tlo se ne se tla batla gore go nne bo tlhokwa gore mo ditation tse tse tsotlhe tsa rona e re nne le di inspector tse di ka sikara maikarabelo a ntse njalo a go tlhagisa batho le go ba bontsha gore gona le ditrena tse ditlang gore batho ba kgone go itlhokomela ene ba kgone gona ba sireletsegile le ba batla kgona go emisa di koloi ha di tla di tlo go feta mo di tshwantse di khabaganye di poro e ne tshireletsa go ere ka nang le ona ka ditsela tsotlhe ke ile ka nna le tshiamelo e privilege ya gore ke romelwe go Toronto go kileng ka bona bontle ha re bua ka thanya tiriso ya ditrena gore mo teng ga tsona o fitlhele gona le di ministera tse ene gore di etela mo go tsona go bona gore tiro ya teng ntse e tsama ya jang ene ba tlotlwa di ministera tse no tse ka nako o fitlhele mo teng ga tsona gona le batho ba ba ntshelang ka bogole ga itse ke bone sepe se sentseng jalo mo South Africa ka gona batho ba no ba bane wa tshono ya gore ba kgone go dirisa di trena e ba kgone go sireletsa ga mo go tsone go kgone go dirwa gore ba bone gore ba phutlhulegile le bone ba itumela tiriso ya tsone e ke tereka a ka ntsa se sentseng jalo mo South Africa di inspector tsa rona tse di tswang kontle le tsone di kana tsa tsenya seno tirisong e le gore batho botlhe ba kgone go phutlhologa le go itumela tiriso ya di terena le diporo tsa rona ya le boga
tu me l'as noté que le cherem avec toi Moses Kotane Hotten and the Kansela Sekouan. Eh, who will lead in Kazidin? Kefela Kotye Drahala Mo Mosporong didn't it all. So says Holo Kefa by Medibarona Bakana Badira Security says Mata Horbato Baska Radikoti. Se dira halangan thaya terin. Roko pacha pe hoka buildiwa di bridges jaga basiba wile ni di bomb gate. Se rita dira ngori di koloi di kona kote na sente ngori di kozi di skar dira hal. I still remember ka 2010 ho dira kete kote se tlocho ko San Fonten. Le canteta incluye Kalefa e case number Le basui Baba Sule Mokotinye Case number 2010 302 Basui Baba Sule Nkantaya Kotiya Trena Bale Mose Palawen Sa Teksi Le Rato Mwa Lusi Amwa wakakwe uruba leka kakiso. Lebo khang mabia. Sadimo matuba. Sepiso sekubwane. Le meisi makakawa. Amwa yabona uruba leka kakiso. Baba pulu khile moko tinyeo. Maria motsehwa. Onto Mudikwe Le Mashadi Matuba Kharitse Khore Transnet Eba Tusite Yang Baba Santa Nembatsela Khone Ke Solo Fela Ba Santa Bale Modi Kabing Ke Solo Fela Khore Mokhongwe Bakazo Khone Khobana Mitiro Mokhongwe Balo Keti Di Tsipi Moma Oto Nkwa Tama Mbele Nyabor Rekopa transnet kabotswa pelo iri tuse ka e safety e tsenele tseng. Kako kone ka iengeje le makansela rarona kufoma e concrete forum e ta tusa momo tseng. Kako nwe kuka nalidi patatilo batu barona batusa ka security neri kupela rele baaki anara tragedi e direkhileng bophelo ba le ka wana bo latlegile mo erelwe line le ka tsatsile ga ke bua o lusitse loto o bulukilwe asna loto le ka tsatsile loto la gele santsang le latlegile Kauza oleba ikutwa botoko abai teledi pele baruna bari tuse rete rekone kutoa la pele a transnet iri tuse katirete kwa e mata se kolo se tuna kigo pa au kwenye kwa ukare hoka busi tuwa a transport train again. Traveling from San Fontaine to Northam, Rastimbek to Tabazimbi. Jaka liti kore di palangwa di atura, a train in the air seifela kabo 1982-83. Kia kopa bakholo, kine ke tswaila kole kalo. Kine ke kopa lidi nomo ore mokholo na kore khao nale a tragedy. Rekone kufouna Transnet Eritruse Kia leboka ame aka alo Greetings to the honorable Chairperson And to the parliament at large 
Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Lecher Mabekwa. Um, I'm standing here before you. I'm reciting it one t what ten um, under Moses uh, Kotani. Well, uh, Chair, um, I believe and I, 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 I'm standing here hoping that you have had issues that have already been brought before you. Many points have been spoken. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to be brief and straight to the point. My worry or my problem, so the challenge that I'm, I'm trying to bring to your attention, Chair, is actually many accidents that are taking place in our railways. Well, um, secondly, let me plea with you that let us reinforce the security in our railway so that uh, we can mitigate uh, these issues of, of accidents. Well, like the previous speaker has already requested that uh, bridges should be um, implemented or construct some bridges to help uh, pedestrians to cross over without uh, being exposed to danger or, or, or safety um, uh, issues. Um, let me include also the boom gates, Chair. These boom gates, as soon as you implement them, at least they will be, try, uh, they will be helping to control the traffic. Um, in San Fontaine, Chairperson, um, I also like to bring to your attention the tragedy that happened in 2010 in San Fontaine. You know, um, there's a case that also has been um, open relating to this uh, specific accident. Um, this case number chair is 2010 slash three slash zero two. Allow me also to mention uh, people that lost their lives um, in this uh, terrible accident. The first person that I would like to mention is Lerato Mwalusi, Lewoham Mabia, Sunny Boy Matuba, Let's be so the last one that actually died in this accident. Well, fortunately, uh, there were some survivors in this uh, specific accident, Chairperson. Uh, the first one that actually survived this uh, terrible accident is Maria Motsehwa. Uh, second one is Ponzo Modikwe. Um, lastly, Mashadi Mataba. And Chairperson, I'm still heartbroken because I'm hoping that Transnet, as the department that is regulating uh, this uh, movement of trains is actually helping the survivors. Um, well, I hope that they are also doing fine, but I believe that they are still uh, undergoing some pains from this uh, terrible accident. Thirdly, Chairperson, you are asking Transnet to also involve the councillors in a process of reinforcing the security uh, for the safety of our people. Uh, Chairperson, I'm saddened also by the young man that actually just lost um, his leg on another accident uh, that I would like to mention. This young man was actually buried without his leg. I'm hoping that his leg uh, could be found uh, in due course. But uh, because it happened previously, it's so sad that uh, the young man was, uh, went to be buried uh, without his leg. So, Chairperson, let me also emphasize that you as the leaders of um, our community, please assist, intervene in our problems and challenges so that we can build a better, a better future going forward. Um, back in the time, we used to have uh, frequent, uh, frequent movement of trains, which was reasonable and affordable for the public to use. Please uh, see to it that you reinstate or you bring along again this mode of transport because it's so convenient for the public to use. Chairperson, I thank you. Uh, that's all I wanted to mention. Uh, I Another I'm not too sure how much we are going to be able to the public hearings. Negere pe la rega fiti sa di bula. Our people should be engaged, but we are not about to let the babula leba kono discuss it because if you come to this meeting, about four documents about to na goro swale mo, ogas kaba ko watwa ela fruitful. Rego pa hor arze madia manzi ala fap chepese. Rego me rafing, rego di mas paleng riwe leba to na before the final sa di bula. That that is my my my, my suggestion. Make him a fan of Chepes and Gary, Celis Rangis Losses and Telel or Hosses of Holetar, but we are here to correct issues, Celis Nigilon Gomorra. Kebatari Buaca, Kanya, Mabodissimus Foro, 
Farne Rojo la Lohosna Matadar Nalungana because there were police on the railway line. I think there is budget in this department. Ega kona ngur habu toka tiro bole kana kana habu hutsi iwa bana ba ni ane ba chava three niwa inde bana ba ka police wengi railway railway line staro. Rana le matata because the sporo dia hilo imi hadi toko me. So I'm making an appeal or the department should try and train our people. Baba zenye modi sporo kile te di tiro kiano try. Ya bo be di ege na lingi ana eba tetsu ana kana lingi ana ya di di sporo tidi tidi na le matata. Why you are dispor or who is a dispor on daily basis? The cable leader out to you are about to lead the city to If you don't have police camp, we don't have security, more dispor and say this problem make us cover solver because people will continue to steal. This is why I get it's one again. We need security. And we have a give a thank you. Waka on a key competition about whole. I think you are sitting with the Department of Transport. Namo Gilum got them come retail. I can go for that. There was there was transport, a cover training, a cover basic, a cover latex. But currently, if you have a process from, you can say, in Pope up until to Pretoria, how one of these things is shared. Get the rain fell off it, and it's a thing where it's about to go zimi kambokai. Because the learning stage is the community of Hamaskra. You talk about what Pina's refer to a station, you talk about what move on a station, you talk about what Hamaskra is on a station. Therefore, we don't have any train on a Hamaskra. So you're actually saying, for Rakoba, Rira, we go along, how come it is a man? Kita orang yang wajib prioriti terus untuk mereka, bayi bayi mereka, ane ane hamas kira. Rasuko ala letak lalu bukan hanya di taxi valen sebab tu baru nampak rasuko. Transport is very expensive. So negi ko bahor haru bela ko mora. It's not like rala happy leh sebab dia aski because orang kono sih fakat transport. Haru ka kerat train rana hanor tu cuma lebat tu haru nampak transport tu ko hamas kira. Rika i le modi mau taxi le modi business itu sangat reliable. Mea bo fele ke batla ngubua ka yona ke tsa re speaker ra ba boletse le lore ha ba go la sentse re tlo itse gore batho ba thula ke dikoloi go na le madinyana ba kriya some of these people ba ba go ba diwa ngidi training ka mpo ba bla ke di training ke di breadwinners ke batho ba le hore ngi batho ba le beletse bona di femetse bona e le beletse mo bona ha le hore ba permanently disable department they are ke tsa hore go tshwana hore go nele melawa e ka hapeletsang transnet le hore e compensate batho ba a me a ka lokela bo Chairperson, good morning. Let me start by recognizing your presence here. I thank you very much. Um, I'm also extending my uh, word of appreciation to um, your colleagues or members of parliament that came here today. My name is Pokadi Mashaba. Uh, Chairperson, that, like I already thank you. Uh, well, Chairperson, you know there's certain things that you, can, you can't turn a blank eye on. Uh, because we need to talk about them, re-emphasize them, so that uh, we know that they are brought to your ears and to your attention. Chairperson, firstly, um, as much as I appreciate your presence and with the community being here with us, it's so sad to see that people are not informed of this um, public hearings, as much as they do have documents with them, but I would have appreciated, actually, if this information was brought to the public before the hearing starts, so that people can be orientated, familiarize themselves with the content of the, um, of the bill, uh, to simplify the conversation or our discussion when we submit our points before you. Please, Chairperson, do see to it that before the hearing starts, at least there's some engagement with the public at large, uh, so that people are actually informed of um, the, the agenda of the discussion. Thirdly, Chairperson, my biggest concern um, is the security. You know, uh, back in the time we used to have the police officers in our railway stations that are ensuring that our people are safe and protected, but it doesn't happen now anymore. Um, I'm wondering what happened to that, but we really, really need the visibility of the police officers in our railway stations. I so believe, Chairperson, that you do have some budget in your um, midst of financial uh, obligations. I believe that you do have some budgets that you can actually use to make sure that you build more uh, uh, train stations, empower our youth, train our people so that they can actually um, also assist in reinforcing the, um, the security in our station. Chairperson, let me also highlight that there's specific places uh, uh, that we are struggling with, particularly in Hamas Kral, you know, the second place as Pinas Refir, where a train will actually travel between these two places, but there isn't any stations in between. 
to assist our people. We all know that the transport is very expensive, especially the public transport. Taxis, to be more, sp uh, more specific, uh, we don't have much of budget to actually use the taxis. We rely more on trains, and um, if you can assist us in, in, in building more stations, more especially uh, we from the area of Hamaskran. Um, lastly, Chairperson, people that are actually involved in this accidents of trains, I believe that they should also be privileged uh, to receive uh, what we call RAF, um, road accident funds, so that they can also uh, be able to sustain them, themselves as you find that sometimes they are cripples, they can't even um, you know, sustain themselves going forward because some of them are breadwinners. So if somebody is involved in an accident and can be assisted with the road accident funds, they will be able to survive going forward with their lives. Thank you, Chairman. Uh. Good day, Sakar. I come along with Sifoma Fumba, the Shala Guadi, twenty six. A good valley younger than Gagisti Bansapa and Amtanja, Nazi in Gel, Gombo no Ampo, Uguenzuama Bridge, Ugufala younger than the Uguenzuama Bridge, Walkalukona Maragani come a bread, or in the endowments of Bala, Maragana, Suswailan, the bread, Uelang and Yang, Ichanji, Ichanji, the sport. Mono to Jonga, the province, the Odia, as Lapa Northwest, Abanda Basawella and Yaris Pond, Wabone Pito, the Gospray to Cocatong, Abanda Bawella Fing, the bridge, the train to Mangapans. I is winged in Jogba City, and the city's busy robots. The robots, the ladies, seven down Tragas, Untragas and Gabana Gokis, Gosted up, Illustrating, Esuko, the Zamukutim, Nagufa, Yonga, and the Magubusama bridge, the train to Mangapans. Go by Hazard in Jogba, where I'm doing now. I will and join the weekend. Is Greetings. My name is Sipo Mafumo from Ward 26. Coming to the agenda of today, I really have a concern because in Malaga breeds people cross the railway station by foot, and it is very dangerous to do so. I suggest that we build bridges again so that people that will be able to cross over, they won't be hurt. Please, that is my plea. Can you please build uh, bridges for us so that people won't go by, cross there by foot? Thank you. Eh, kese mwole ka uru medisa. Lina la miki Nicholas Mafodibuji. So to our thirteen, one number spala or more repel. Eh, the door at the hole, mobiling ye, go to work out with the police say the most to go as for because more number more thing, give me the cafe, let me the cafe. Then a hotel who will ready bridge. Can avoid a girl, avoid the horror, but not well hotel like a mara, most poor, but well whole community itself, a well whole dampadillo, most poor. And the other thing, go over the front of you, all again, where you the boom, more motel and the colloy. And then lady robot, oh, once a hurry, for the avoided accident. And then re, re, this a happy security man, because our brothers, no, I pilling the drugs, ba, kumula, it's a piece of the swearing sporo, then biodicari, then it's too dangerous. The training can I have any time and it will have a jalebo. Chairperson, thank you. Uh, let me start by introducing myself. My name is Nicholas Buichi from Ward 13 and uh, the Moratile Municipality. Um, Chairperson, as much as we discuss in the bill, um, can I humbly request that um, at least you build, you know, the bridges or palisades that actually separate the villages or the, between the villages and the railway stations. This is to assist our young brothers so that they don't expose themselves um, themselves to um, the, secu I mean the, 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 the danger of having accidents there. We need booms and also to mention some robots that will assist in controlling traffic. 
Thirdly, Chairperson, I'm sure you're also aware that there's people that are, they've engaged themselves in um, drug abuse. And um, this is a problem because they start stealing um, these deals and they start selling them. So this is the biggest problem that we have. So Chairperson, please, please, you're humbly asking that um, do build some bridges, robots and booms uh, to control the traffic in our area. Thank you, Chairperson. Nagalibicho ke Elias Kekana from what date ni komore telebranch? But what di? Eh, wona le matza panya na. Le na ke mika yona tabe ya sporo le kam khelongo rau se ifikateng. Ke bolle la so eh au fiti mete mika e concrete te te di chwering matla passport bana thaba tu concrete kamo fa te ne train wa yuto lo ene fitori ibu ima dai dai. So get say to more hewe ira la rewe it like a mosite in like a mohoto ira lang height or let the petrol or lady diesel. Yes, security gas born a setting. Mara security seller Saba fate of a Nabanzi Modimas poro. Saba fate of a Nabanzi Sandy cheapy ones in Modimas poro. Han Negasa Hola non a little security barke Afrigat. Babarega di pair. Lemutomo Holo Nashian as born a security cell. Cos of never eating to never ira nos nadilo so. No railway ne ne agiti ne chela rounda poro biang no sna di charu mo di mas poro marer bolela no so ho fetwa se kwa uka ba wabuta motor zama kas poro feta saboni poro bana se ku her bolela so ba tu ba ira illegal dumping o mungo tia kati ila chela mola wabona kati warai ke kati mar bege tang watif ke motu anka mola wenor ke kati so neru kupelo ba railway ba tu se ka security. Bagarta maybe two so got Rocono balance economy, Mola Mumahae, Mola, maybe were to serve La Colma, Garta di Capa di Tarte, Omar Barefe Chance, maybe training Yana, Liquipment, Mola Lernari, Charelena, Rocono, one size Chabarne, Mosmola, Tidua Mutin, Kemoko Makiwa Mutin, Tabaya Security in the Mumazong Ale Naralu, or Gamco Geletalus and Gerna, Overga, Africa before. No Snamutona, Samigala Mosporo. Mara no in the selecting in security, one new or one new of your logar go for such tar. Our now we say if you are sale, okay, me, Jimmy, be the kid, the nearly sixteen, sporos, tama, mohar. But Baba Baba Nangamotini, but sell us for a heavy on a mela base through. Now, hey, Tomari, Mola Mumari, him, but to buy a bachelor sporo by on a mela base, but for you are the poor. So, who said, any any fellow or Baba and Babula, we got to an editing the Tabat or about what we look for. Baba and Yvile Baripi, we watch a row on a mobile issue of body ground room, Mara and the security system was operated. Gavine one. So, Nero Copella, Ler trying to Sonia Navasuari Dangi. Thank you, Chair. Uh, my name is Elias Kekana from Ward Number 13 in Moritele. We have a lot of issues, we have a lot of problems, and this is basically related to the unsafe railways. Uh, one of the things that is happening, um, Mr. Chair, is the fact that even when you are seated within the train as it is actually moving along on the railway itself, you can feel that it is really not stable. We've got all those uh, concrete stones that are actually seem to be holding everything tight together. But these days, the way it feels, we don't feel safe when you are in the train because it does look like uh, these um, gravel that is actually holding everything together is being eroded somehow. It's a big problem. Now, one of the other things that we are very worried about is that within the railways themselves, there is a lot of growth of some kind of vegetation, etc. So there is no cleaning that is happening there. And also security leaves much to be desired. Now we wish there could be some training, get some people who can actually be showed how to clean on the railways themselves, uh, get some job in that particular way so that we can keep them very clean. Now, a lot of unsafety is happening because now also we have people who are crossing railway lines to jump into the buses. And because of the growth of this vegetation that is happening, which is no longer uh, actually being taken care of, uh, now the criminals are starting to hide 
within these things. People are getting mugged, and soon there will be killings. Some get to be raped, and some are being taken away into some planes, treeless planes, where they actually get to be raped. So we really need to beef up security, and you need to please take these matters into consideration so that uh, these problems that we have can be solved. One of the problems that is taken, that is happening there also is illegal dumping. You can imagine, Chair, illegal dumping is happening within the railway lines. So we really need security, we need people to be trained, we need all of these things to be taken care of so that we can bring these problems uh, to a stop. Thank you very much. Mm, as men like a Kakulunga, guess train, see a bullet bandit and visit two bag of Ted Hagen Ireland. If I guess now a cool, it's to guess mine, and you don't give one eye on Yanyan. Lapis mine. In mine is this and the lay in those abos over Lolue. So in the Zagayo and the Boni Cuseleco, a way in the Dijongileo, Baseben Zelebon, Abalibalangaban to Benza in the Zoneta Bon. So, okay, it's Bulelba and the Fike. Then the Gayo is so called so great. I bet you are Aku kundi choyo yake ni kile lekona bantuan, bantuan betu baze ambela ba yes downi kuku tanda kuab. Aku kundi choyo ngokuwa ima goku, na angulo liweza, ah ah, umda nusu au kuita zibabu lala ngalonge lake, indo ni nusu. E nge ngoku, abe madrekan, ukoni nda wes esela, enda usne alcohol is things kuwal. Ila pa kuchana lenda, ende lo umda zoselo ba kuwal. Unyam zeli gila pum, ambogo kuita pa. And the Gango says, and don't unless the Gamis went to Agasai born, no, I own in Tela Gango, who's born, I can or ring, I can talk. And then the Len, Yam Kumsa Lanton of Agaibon, Gangai and Don Gabetan at Copridge. In the Ballet Lake Land, Stimba Fanba, Big Fanba, Ufakwa in Noba says, Why I guess Chokayo is or just a con. And then go back when the Gelon, the Gulen, the Ossipita, we are Pemaragan, go back on the preachers of Abela Guyo. Kona inobungo zilando, ende kuna bandwa nbe skolo, paya. Abaya eskolo yu nabanga zinto nga lando. Umzege lo na amlo njum neli. Jike difile nkoma chiku anso yiki ndia ivalendi ya tu. Jiti eh, inobi yamba kwa ipike ngo. Kwa baka loko wakuko zae ni ulendo. Jiti enjime nbone kwa besu ule namdi shule. Kona wana betuna kandese ya ngela. Nige nige nelele na lapez maini. Nige nizamu kteta nabo. Enven koko nisamele na bandwa. Enda bandwa nizu mzege la base benzi. Ningasa nika achege na lapa guti. Sisa upagami sakeba onalo umalapu. Enze liba kukusele kabantu betungo. Baba fabenga kutanga ngululu wabakoyo. Jie, saingosi. Thank you very much. I think we are doing well. I'm taking a second round. Um... I'll start right at the back now because I stopped halfway. I'm going to start number one. Yes, you can drop your hand and come. Uh, number two in front of him. Number three. Yes, number three. Uh, not you, brother. The sister behind you. Just wait a little bit. She's number three. Can I see hands there at the back? Three. Right at the back, four. Right at the back, four, yeah. In front of her, five. Ye yellow T-shirt, five, yes. Um, I think I'm on number five. Uh, red uh, T-shirt, six. Oh, behind him, seven, sorry, yeah, seven. A pink shirt, CC, eight. I come to this side. Um, behind the white shirt, number nine. 
and write in front of him number 10. And then we'll take another round. We can start. It's the same process. I hope we have still got it. We've got one more. Oh, up there. I will come to you second round. I will start there. Greetings. My name is Nelisa Dingezwin. We have a challenge about trains. Um, our problems are the mines. It's the safety when we are passing through the railways. Um, in Marikana, we, have, we encounter um, a lot of problems because when children are passing there and um, close to there, there's a tavern there, people go there passing drunk and they get hit by the trains. So my concern is there are no even signals showing that the train is coming. So even when children are coming from school, they just pass by uh, without getting any signal that the train is coming. Please provide a bridge for us. And we ask you to speak with the authorities in the mine so that you can negotiate for us because we are not working, we are unemployed, so that we at least we can get jobs and get to work while you are helping us with the issues of the trains. Thank you. Uh, greetings, uh, honorable members of parliament, and greetings to everyone present today. I support the standardization of uh, training for anyone doing rail specific work and the powers this gives to the railway safety regulator to register training institutions and certified types of training that are key to the safety and security of our railways. Despite these provisions, I personally think that the provision that safety inspectors must only conduct inspections between eight and five from Monday to Friday is ludicrous because safety concerns are mainly in the hours and days not covered by the provision. Uh, Honorable Chair, uh, there's a speaker here who spoke about uh, uh, benchmarking. I, I think it's very much uh, imperative uh, that we go out to the outside world and try and benchmark with the, with the, with the developed uh, uh, world because um, our, our standards are, are very, very low in, in order to say, so it is our plea that um, uh, you, honorable members, take this message to our uh, uh, Minister of Transport, Mr. Fikilem Balula, that please go outside and try and benchmark with the world. Thank you. Sorry, All right, thank you. My name is Keboni, a parent chair. After uh, saying my greetings, okay, sorry, I need to speak so I'm speaking English. Madume Budula Stulo, Kile Wikile Tata, Neke Bata Fela Kotalo San Kafano Fakore, Kudne Lidi Teoze, Ele Horidi, Kwadi Sedi Wadi Tiro, Tati Reletejo. Me di direti roya ho tlatlo ba gore a gona le tshireletsego mo diporontsa rona e le ntiro e dirwang fa gare ga di ura tsa ya borobedi mo mosong go ya go fitla ka ya botlhano mo maitse boeng fa seno se ka dirwa re ka gona go tlisa tshireletsego e re buang ka yona gona jaanong jaana e bodula stilo gona le o mong wa dibui o fitileng nakonyana e fitileng a neng a tlhalosa fano gore re tele dinaga tse dikwantle re go bona gore tiro ya bone malebana le diterena le diporo e tsamaisiwa ka mokgwa o ntse njang gongwe bile re ka kopa le ministera wa rona re fikile mbalola gore aye aye go tlhola me ha sna go bona rona mo nageng ya rona re tse malebela e go tswa mo dinageng tse dintse njalo e le gore re tla re kgona go tlisa tshireletsego mo diporo le mo diterene tsa rona fela ja ka go dirwa go rena geng di sele ke a le boga modula stulo modula stulo le komitie tlompegang ke a le dumedisa na ka le bisoke grace mogale 
ke so ko ward 5 go reagile mo kostere mo maspane wa khetlhing ke le boga tshono e ka go nne le rona rena le bothata ba ba railway a ke simolle ka gore a ha ke ha ke late 90s go ne go nna le gana ga nna le the lady owning a tlokafala a gatilwe ke tirena that lady o ne a na le bogole ba kutlo le puo ga ke se gore a o felelise a compensatiwa o tlogela bana ba le ba bedi go morago o tlogetse bana ba le ba bedi go morago mo ragile mo extension 8 Sporos Kabakana Futing. That other side of the road, Honale Skolo, Sesibis on Coster Primary School. Bana Baba, we Baba to a mo Rahil, Basana Skolo Kamutang. Bakabakana Sporo, Bakabakana Lisila. Kajalo Kineki Kupela today, Kiriki Kopa Mantling Eu, at least Hippalamente, Eka Tusa Batuba Rahil. Ba tena hana le scholar patrol, hana le security, hizoa bridge, kuhuri for safety sake. Kita mo huwe hapa kuna le filele lumi mo temo rahile kama saiti e kama lo kuna le dikolo idia fita kete double up e haufi le tropo kuhuri ba chupa ba swan tropo ba swan kafu ba swan makadi di lift. So, ba double up a mo, mo sporo. Le te unko ko ezi roko pa kuru kone li bridge. Kone li, 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 kone li design. Akona design, akona seyepe. Kuko roko fitu a faila, busoko le mo sikhare. Kaja lo ki neki kupa ma palamente, sansi li lika kwa anu. Roko pa kore, tswe, tswe, kuko ozi. Kuko ozi tota, di polo kolo. Tue na krena etula di polo kolo. Sabo raro. Kona le... Motuko has kunt, Motuko has poro. Hona leba ipe, Hona le mikuku. So, kine ke kopa kore mikuku e. Itu siwe. Matuwa baba tole play ke kopa tlanante. And then, hona le fence lo hora. Le le kaba kanyang, le le kau kanyang sporo, le mozi. Kine ki kupela, ki kupela. And ke kopa kore. Credit to the Saudi Tata Go Hitling, Go Ward Five, Kikupahore, Iscan Nahore Messeris, if you have a chaffel. Baholo Mpa Haina Mocha, Haina Moholo, Little Narasan Serna Limata Hore Recadira, Kajako Palamente, Elibel La Fela Bacha, High Level Liba Holo, whatever got the age, age can no more ever hold, Kay Kupela, Kalebuch. Thank you very much, Chair. Uh, greetings to everyone. My name is Grace, and I'm from Ward 5 in Coster. I really want to thank you very much, Chair, for this opportunity. Yes, I want to also add that we do have a lot of problems that are related to our railways. For starters, let me just mention that um, there is one lady some time ago who actually died because she was hit by a train. Now, the problem with this lady is that she had both a hearing and a speech impediment. And uh, she died, I don't know up to this very day whether she had been compensated. Uh, she was survived by two kids. At the extension eight, where we live, we have a school very, very close to a rail line, and this is called the Coster Primary School. Now you can already imagine the problem. This is the school. So we have young people, children who, who are coming from Reachile village who have to always cross this rail line. And my appeal today then to the parliament 
is to please assist the people of Reahile, and the only way in which you could be able to help them is to make sure that we have either a patrol, a school patrols uh, closer to this railway line, or we have some sort of security put in place, or we build a bridge that can be used for these kids to use from crossing from one end to the other. Now, on the other hand of this problem, we also have cars that are actually crossing the railway line in an undesignated area. The people like taking shortcuts when they are maybe driving towards the town. So this is also a problem. So we need to actually sort this problem out so that these things can bring down many of the dangers that are actually happening. So not only people are being actually hit by trains, I mean even animals themselves. This is happening day and night, Mr. Chair, and then we need to really look into this problem and see how it can be solved very, very soon. Now, we also have a sprawling uh, informal settlement. Now, we appeal that the people who are living in this particular informal settlement, please be removed. Have a certain land for them so that they can build their dwelling places there because they are in danger themselves. So we need to really look into this. And another thing that I would like to mention is that if we can please have a fencing uh, between the villages and the railway line itself, because this will protect most of the dangers. If you can please do this for the people who are in Ketling, in ward number five. And when you do these things, please chair, we know that people might start to, getting, to get some jobs here and there. Please don't only consider young people. Consider us, the older ones, as well, because we all go hungry together. So this age thing is killing us, but consider us all so that we can at least be able to have something to do. Thank you very much, Chair. Yeah, wa 2018 ko le thabong under Rustenburg municipality na ka ka ke tse pedi fela i support the bill i support the bill to pro to provide for an over overall of safety and health system in our railways and provide legislature power for inspectors to inspect and seize the material that may pose hazard to the safety of people end of the railway itself. Secondly, to care, care must be taken, however, to ensure that this provision is not used, is not used to target informal traders who have used railways to make it a living for years. I thank you, leadership. Thank you very much, Chair. My name is Kanye Moale. I would like to make you know, please, Chair, that I do support the bill because it does provide what is good for us. But of course, uh, just to add an appeal to there, uh, we would like all these problems that we are talking about, about the railway lines, to be inspected uh, so that we can be able to know exactly where the problems are that are causing so much hazards that have already been mentioned. And care should be uh, given um, around this area, but we know that we don't want the provisions of sorting all of these problems with the possibility of having people getting some employment. We don't want to only in, uh, target the informal traders uh, to get engaged in this, but everyone who is eligible for that, it will be nice if we can do that. Thank you very much, Chair, for this opportunity. Uh, profusely uh, apologize for that. The members of the public uh, pointed out my wrong and I want to correct it quickly. She was speaking in English, then I have to speak in Setswana. Sorry about that. Very briefly, Okay. 
tiro tsa gore ba nne le sengwe se ba khona go siisa ganong me ha go dirwa jalo go se ga le jwa fela batho ba eleng gore ke ba ipereki batho botlhe ba ba ka tlhokang go tsa seabe mo gore ra bolema thata ano ka tsa tiro le bone ba akanyediwe re a le boga eh di bole se parliament yo ke di bole se na bana ba menywe e ka malambe lo azi kwanjeng e e wa diamond suka kuyo e wa 34 di hlala yo e buka muso mna di zokwenza nje e e bale ncinci go go lo start be sine committee meeting si yesa visit yo langa bana ba thi ba swa ku parliament kulo meeting hi to baye ba taqisela ba kwenzeka ntoni ke parliament kuzoba kusenzeka ntoni then kaya sibaqala ke ngxake sinayo apostala khona ku railway esinayo esiphela nayo kuba i railway yindawo esifike ikhona umgaqo sifuke ukhona nabantu abakhe khona sebe sibe bayiqhelile sibe iqhele railway kangako ba bacima fana bayi dangerous kodwa thi ahlala xa kwa sibona ku dangerous cause ayikho into esincedakala ngayo ba sithakisela into bana i railway yona i dangerous kakhulu kodwa thi nase sabaxa bana no bana asisabonti ukuthi dangerous kuba i railway noba kwenzeka into nakho esincedakala ngayo thi noba kwenzeke accident akukhona bo report yakhona noba kutshayiswe into nakhona bo sikhe sibabone be visit abeze bo sibuze ba kwenzeke into abakhe bavela abantu be railway kodi railway hlazi khona siphum kwethu babuze umbuzi ndobana xa kwenzeke accident imoto itshayiswe i train i strip report yapi sonke khasi yazi community yonga yazi ba i report yapi xa kunengxaki efanale tizamuthi thina ingxaki esiqhelile kodwa ke asizazi bafana sibaleke liphi xa sinengxaki ukwenza mafutshane la elbalam bathe bona xa begqiba ukusichazela ba kwenzeka nowe railway bathi bacela uyobona i railway apho ikhoyo ukwenzela ba bathathe i pictures babona ndobana lento sithetha ngayo ubunyane babuka kanani siye sasuka pha emvini kwexesha fana bathathe iminezi begqibile sabasa ku railway lesiphila na i railway cause yalokho i community i railway siphila sonke inzi tendo qala bafike bayibona bona bafika umuntu uhlele esiporweni uyafuna uhlele esiporweni samakaranya abakathethi thina sathula thi abasa esiporweni bona bafika bona umuntu ofethi phone uhlele esiporweni samakaranya uyafuna mozi into baphila na babona into xa ifuna umuntu indawo ekathi safe nengathi quiet uye uhlele esiporweni samakaranya uyafuna tizamuthi into e railway thina siphila nayo asiyazi futhi ba ubungozi abungakana nokhoza noma ubungozi buvela asikhomba ukuthi ndadakala khona tizabu into ebonisa abonisa zakho nje into enethi ukuba ngaba ubungozi be railway bukhona mabeze abantu be railway ku communities basixelela loba i railway ibungozi inobungozi kangakanani ukwenzela basiyazi apha kuthethwa ngendaba i bridge i bridge bekufana bazikhona all over khoza abantwana basuka kwenda ohlala kuzo bayizikolweni batsiba i railway every day and bahlala be late abantwana i bridge yona nto ngicuma fana ba yoqala ofuna siyifumane singabahlala abahlala kwezindawo and ticento bana i office ze railway sibe kufushana for routine abahlala basikwazi o report ingxaki esidibana nazo kuba ingxaki ze railway zinis asinawo zigqiba apho era nto ngicela into bana ngasi ke i railway sebenzana ne communities ukusolva elengxaki bacima fana ba ikhona ne railway enkosi Greetings all. My name is Loazi. I'm from Ward 34 from Bugamoso. I will tell a short story. On um, Wednesday, we had a committee meeting and people from Parliament come, came. And when they came, they told us that um, they're going to tell us more about the railways and the challenges and informing us um, what will happen. We spoke to them and we raised issues with them and 
they don't know the challenges that we have and they were asking us to take them to the railway station and which we did and when we got there we found um, a man was sitting on the railway talking on the phone because they go there feeling that it is quiet there if you want to have a quiet conversation with whoever that you're talking to it'll be easy and very comfortable for one to come to the railway station and sit and talk so they saw the challenges that we're facing so it is really the responsibility of the railway people to come and address us and make campaigns to teach people about the railway, about the trains and everything concerning the railway and the children because mostly the children are passing the railways by foot. So we are really concerned and we ask you to build a bridge because it will really help us. I thank you. Nigeria <laughs> ba na ba rone le bona gantsi ba leng gore ba ikra ba le mo mathateng a gore ngwana ka mmamo so tsoga a explorer le fatshela nna mo lona me go bo felong ba letsa tsi krele ena thutseng ke terene bo ka re ngwana o pos me gona go bua nnete eh transnete le lona ke ona tsetseng e be bona gore e go fa e dirile pos eh ba go lobaka le rena le baagi ba le bantsi thata mo rastembeke ka kwe leng gore go feletse le gore ka tle ke ipotse gore ka industrial site e kana kana go tla yang gore ba re sena di offices tsa railway mo rastembeke khos gona at the end of the day accountability go se moloro o batlo ba tlisa gore o ka ripota ka e go etsa gale ga gona gore ka ba go referala jubeke pretoria deben cape town eh ba go lona ne ke re fela me ke kopa gore railway e se mo e e e khono re na ganna le ka le ka di transportation na re go la yana ba go lo ba rona ba rebella gore ba rena ba travela ka di terena from Rustenburg to go Brete kai kai me gona no nyana ke bo ke itemogela mathata a bo palangwa ka gore gona no go atura hanke be ne le tene ka re thusa re fokotse le 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 les pete pete se se tletse mo mo sa dikolo i motseleng eh pointa ka bo felo ba golo ke eh ko bo felo mbaletsa se ba golo rastenberg e gurile le kana ba golo me re sa re sena re sena di 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 bridge mo diporo me di accident di tsa gala ngwaga le ngwaga ngwaga le ngwaga go tlo go go feletsa go diragala eng gore ba tla ba khono le mo gore e e gona go fa go sentse ne gutliswe di bridge mo rastemme ke ba golo ka lentse re utlwala ka bridge go tidi etla di etla di etla le a nontse di bridge di satla me di accident tsa ona di ntse di a kwa o kodimo yeli ke a le mo Thank you very much, uh, Chair. My name is uh, Neo Semela from Tabane Ward 10, uh, also uh, working under Mr. Van Niemand uh, uh, as a councillor, as a member of, of, of the Ward Councillor. I'm very, very sad, Chair, um, that we are speaking about the problems related to the railway lines here in Tabane. We have so many people in Kabani, uh, it has grown much bigger, but one wonders why is it that necessary things have not been put in place. For an example, the accidents that we are talking about that emanates from the railway lines. You know, we have kids who are very 
uh, going out to explore things, and sometimes they end up being hit by a train as if actually they were wrong to do that. But it is simply because the surrounding in which they try to do their exploration is not safe. Now, at the end of the day, it is as if now they must be blamed for their attempts of what they wanted to do. We have a lot of citizens here in Rastenbeck, but one wonders why is it that we don't have the railway offices? So whenever we have a problem that we need to present to those in authority, then we have to go to as far as Johannesburg, Pretoria, I mean even as far as Durban and Cape Town just to report something. So now my plea here is that please think for us in, in, in matters of transportation. You know, our elders told us that they grew up using trains all the time. Today it is a little bit difficult for us to use them because now they are very expensive. So if you can just take note of that thought, because if they could be a bit cheaper, we will use them and they will reduce the volume, huge volume of cars that are always on the road here in our surroundings. So now in Rustenberg, we wonder, Chair, as to what must happen first before the bridges can be built. Because there are accidents on the railway lines year after year. Really then, what must happen first before these bridges can be put in place? So please think about that. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Chair. Thank you very much, uh, the collective, the leadership of Parliament. Uh, my name is Peter Tsapo, uh, a member in good standing of the EFF uh, from Ward 27, under the leadership of Councillor Kukizo Murray. Uh, mine is very simple, uh, leader. I have two points here. Uh, the EFF welcomes the broad objective of the bill. Since the abolishment of the railway police, equally since the enactment of the transfer of the South African Railway Police Force to South African Police Service Amendment Act 14 of 1989, has led the serious problem in ensuring safety on South African uh, railways. The result has been has been the dramatic decline not only in the safety of the passengers, but also in the ability of Prasa to safeguard critical rail infrastructure. I submit. Petros <laughs> Tato. Nike is like ward number 23. Uh, it is in Pele, Kere C. Coqueto. Janaka Lidin Kadi and Kirna by EFF. Re Ela Coco Fano for a five Salahutusiwa, a Melawana Mengue, Yamola, Tomo, O Amanang Litsir Lezeho, Ya a Diternali di Poro. Eling Mola Onewa Mametelua, Wow, Bo fourteen Waka nineteen eighty nine, Senusi Kisise Matata A Masisi, A Elen Hore, number one, A Manalehuela class, a hat sirele toya, Ba Palami Badi Terena, and then number two, a Lehore Prasa Leona, Hai Honukudra Sepe, Hotaya Palelua, to Hubusa that sirele to ho, Eling Elite Monaco Efitile. me ke rumilwa gapele ke representa le ward 33 ya ga remosako eh sa mene re tshore papetlana mona ke 
romilwe ke mokgatlho wa rona wa Railway View Development Forum ke NPO e re ne re itumetse tota ga re utlwa gore lwa re bitsa re tlile go re utlwelela ka gone dilo tse le tlileng ka tsona tse ke dilo tse le go gore re ne re se re dina ga nne kwa pele ne re itumela thata fa le tlile fa re tle re nne le direct engagement le lona jaka ke buile gore ke tshore papetlana fa ha ke tshore ke a dumeletsa gore ke ditlogele ke dirile dikhopinyana mo ha ke tshore go a dumeletsa gore nka ditlogela le lona me khang kholofana go na le nyonyane ba ibitsa le no le no ke nyonyane e fofelang kwa go dibu dibu tota me le no le khona gore ga le tlhoka metsi le be le tla fotla se fa ga ke shebile ke bona o ka re ke tapele ya me mo le dutseng temmo ke le tshwantshanya le mano me le skela le bala gore rona ba re le mfa ba le ribiditse re metsi a lo a tlhoka ke solo fela re le ribiditse gore le tle go nwa metsi ga le fetsa go nwa metsi ao la go boela kwa godimo kwa le faufau gape bothata ba le nong bo ja ka le sika ke bona fela bothata bo ja nun ba kholo ke ne ko kopa re thusa metsi ao a seke a khala le tle go a tlhoka re ne re kopa dithuso tsa madi re le thusa go busa putso entle ya ga etswe ke rona re itse mathata go feta lona fo ke rona re phelang ka mathata go feta lona fo re kopa le bone metsi ya a seke a khala le tle go a tlhoka ka letsatsi le ke a le boga Chairperson, good morning, and to the portfolio committee at large. Uh, my name is Lebone Mauka. Um, I'm from Ward 35 at Mohwase. And under the leadership of Mr. Lucky Pito, I'm standing here before you, also representing Ward 33. Chairperson, I'm so impressed and I'm pleased that you saw the need to come and speak to us uh, today. I appreciate your presence here. However, I have um, my documents here with me on my hands. I don't know if it's allowed for me to submit them um, to your committee. If uh, that is the case, Chair, if you allow me to do so, I will be um, thankful for that. Chairperson, as you are here now before us, I believe that you came to listen to us, Chairperson. Let me take this opportunity to be direct and to talk to you without any doubt, Chairperson. Um, if you allow me to also make an example of this well-known bird called an eagle, we all know that the characteristics of this uh, specific eagle, um, it has a tendency or is capable of flying higher and higher than the and uh, higher than the sky, the sky itself. Chaperson, but as much as this eagle is capable of flying higher, and, uh, higher than the skies, um, it will eventually come down to the earth where it actually needs some water to drink because it can never survive with this water. Therefore, um, we as the community of uh, Rustenburg, we are actually resembling the same water that the same eagle um, is going to need. So, Chairperson, um, allow me also to uh, say that in your position, you look exactly like this eagle that I'm talking about. And bear in mind that 
you can fly as high as you want to, but eventually, eventually you're going to need me or the community as we are resembling the same water that you need for you to survive. Chairperson, secondly, I know and I believe that you are just here to drink this uh, cup of water. When you are done with this, I know you'll be going back again to um, show your capabilities of flying higher than the eagle. Thirdly, Chairperson, um, I know that you have money in your budget. In your cabinet, you do have some budget. What we need is for us to assist you. We need you to take into co consideration to assist us with some funds so that we can help the same government of ours um, going forward in terms of uh, building the, the better future for us and our people. I thank you, Chairperson. Na kile Louisa le Dwaba kuzwa kumusi ngamu tutu ngo twenty anda madi beng. Keme fano kire selu si dira anke silo sese botoka mubo pelong limo tamai sonya rona. Kema bi ana kile belleti kamu le fa pella tuto. Ba ana kona ya numba tava treni, ba tava abaiti treni ba iti guchu. Rereke ana guchu eli. So ne kire mo tuto. O ka re ka tsenya le nane o le o la di treni bana ba itse di mala ba tsa bona ba o go go ba di ntse physically le ka go ntsiwa go tsa ba ke tsele ke selo se se ntse ntse tsenya ka matshwao go builwe a ka tsenye a go tswa kwa tata mo ba tswa ka prosa mo teng mo di kolo e di ka prosa mo teng go ba le le matshwao le di kitsi se ka go mo go tshwanetse ka tsa maya ba mo Thank you, uh, Honorable Chair. Um, I am from the village in Mututu. And Chair, I would like to say that the job that you are doing by your presence here is very, very good and we really appreciate what you are doing. But I'm focusing on the matter that is related to education. I realize that actually our kids in this today, we've been talking about the train. Actually, they don't know train, the train itself. What they know is a good train. That's what they know, but not the actual passenger train. So now I think this necessitates uh, for us to impart some education to them so that they can actually grow these things. So I challenge you, Chair, to please make sure that you take our children on an educational rendezvous so that they can go and actually with their physical eyes see what are we talking about when we speak about the train. And also take them to some of the places where there are signs that are marked where um, people have to cross to say to them that this is where people, this is a crossing area for people, and this one is a crossing area for cars. Those things, they need to actually be educated and shown to them so that they can also be saved, but at the same time, uh, acquire some education. Chair, just a little worry about some of our stations or train stations. Sometimes people are waiting for the train for a very scorching heat or perhaps it is raining, they don't have a shelter. Can we make a plan to make sure that maybe there is a shelter so that people can comfortably wait for the coming train? If we can take this into cognizance, we will make a wonderful progress, Chair, and I want to thank you very much. So bad, they are showing you know that I'm so sure. 
My name is Ms. Molefe, and then I'm from Ward number 22 at a place called Ogapi. Thank you very much. Uh, sorry, I'm not familiar to that place. Ogati is the name of the place where she's coming from. Ogati. Or Ogasi, S I at the end. Pardon me, Chair. We got it right now. Ogasi is the place that she's coming from in Ward 22. Thank you very much for correcting me. Just a comment, Chair, that I have is that. Uh, um, this very place that I'm mentioning where I'm coming from, we have shops, and then we have a railway line, and then uh, we've got the place of our residence. Now, basically, the railway line cuts between us and the shops that we have to go when we need some groceries, etc. Now, one of the biggest problems that we have here, we've been talking about and appealing that we have a build a bridge that can be built so that it can connect our dwelling area to the shops so that we don't have to cross the railway line physically. Or another alternative could be to establish and put up a traffic light there so that it can take control of things. This we could be able to avoid some serious dangers. But now here is the problem, Chair. Uh, as I said, the railway line actually cuts between us and our business areas. Sometimes the train comes and from time to time they jam. They can't move anymore because there is a mechanical problem with them. And then they remain standing there for about over an hour, maybe an hour and a half. And we need to do our daily activities. We need to move from one point to the next. And here the train is standing between us and our activities. So what do we do then? All of us, young people, and I'm, I'm saying including elderly ones, we actually go underneath the train. So we have to uh, crawl underneath the train to go and get on with our daily activities. And when we come back, the very same thing. Obviously, this is very dangerous. But now we need to take into cognizance the fact that we have this problem and then this, these trains have to be looked into. So I would really like to appeal, Chair, that in our area we have a training center established and then which its main objective will be to educate uh, children and also the elderly ones because many of these people don't know anything about the trains as to how do they work, etc., etc. This will help with a lot of things, especially with safety. Thank you very much, Chair. Community 
de ba jamba sporo ke bana ba ya sekolong le batho ba go le ba jamba sporo gore ba e rankeng ba ya ko holong ba ya ka mahara legation ba jamba sporo so ne re kopela le bridge mo mo sporo ntsego le mo tseleng e go le kwa go ga re tshela ra magoma bitle re tsa hera mabitle re lo boloka re tshela le bridge re tshela sporo di hesha di koloi ke traffic mola re tshela sporo so ne re kopela hape something mas so tse setse be mo sporo ntsego re khono tshela free le re se kana in danger ke a le bo Chairperson, good morning, greetings. My name is Kidibone Pasha. I'm also from Ward 22 in a small village called Okasi under the, under the leadership of um, Mr. Kahiso Matlo. Chairperson, let me um, right away start by highlighting um, the issue that we have in our village is uh, the railway station that um, is completely in shambles now. Um, it's not working completely. It's not user-friendly. And this is the same railway that um, we are crossing on a daily basis. Could be either we are burying our loved ones during our funerals, we are crossing over the same um, railway that is not safe for the community. Chairperson, I think the only solution to this you know, for you to assist us is to actually erect some bridges that will assist the community to walk over instead of crossing over this railway because it is posing so much danger to us, Chairperson. Um, that is all that I wanted to mention, Chairperson. Lastly, um, consider also the traffic lights that will, um, in cooperation with the bridge, will assist in controlling um, vehicles, you know, so that we can have a free movement without fearing for our lives. Thank you very much. Um, educated nation is an innovative nation. It is a nation that never sees challenges as problems. Give the gift of education today and tomorrow will be better. Leadership, I go by the name of Sekulu Regile, from Ward 34, under Councillor Piri. Being prepared in leadership, Mangzana, being Pale Pans, Patangsa Palaga Pans. Judging from a distance before seeing the United States have a plunge. And start this serious leadership. You are not taking us serious leadership. Some of you, if you are not a man, you will not be able to do it. You will not be able to do it. You will not be able And it's what next. You are wasting our time. And it, it takes money to lay. We are working. It's supposed to be clear. It's really up. Upper leadership, sons and daughters of the soil. I am um, African. I'm a son of the soil. Now, you come here for an Irish Chilega Parliament. You were elected by who first? By the masses. Railway, less is in Ayo Nam Sanje, Lapangwe Kono for 134. From 1994, Lapangkule Kono. From 1994, who called and do over an 2022? Who called 2022? No, because of our problems. It's an Ibonayo. The answer is because about the Banyans, but it's bridges and what what and what what. That's not the case. The case, Ila, you know about. 
lento si zele yo apa. You are ignorant leadership. From 1994, From 1994, I know. And in any years, this thing is set up. This is a hall up. Get it seven. It's a woman from 1994. He hampered a yaw, the well is poor. Archbacaran Yanik Sena, Pooh, Xen. Who call anyone a problem? I'm Sanche Nina. You are sitting there because in Salagam Nant, you are driving 30 cars. I understand. Nale motel is part of the lesson. Axi Mali in the nineteen ninety four. Got chief from Ezakele, what thirty four? Zakele, Sebuga Musogo, what thirty four? Let's introduce from two thousand six. Basadus Pila Manch Bazaka, straight up a Kawe Sporo is Kurbangas. That's a sporo two thousand six. 1994, 2006. Leadership. Order, order, leadership. Order, leadership. From 1994, 206. Then, Kwanina, our government. Who's a worker is in Lulenda? When I phone in Nina, any cell, any space, any one up. Because from Rabban I think it's 10, 10, meter, 10 meters away from our call. It trained my arm, being at the arm of anything. So, it's the upper, it's the former Lithuanian Zayo. So, but the Italian child, I'm a man, a man. I won't hide that. Leadership, before you come to the masses, fix yourself first. Because Leadership. Focus. Focus, leadership. because of Cinema cost cars, none number fars, Chalon Chal. You are not supposed to be cash. Get to call you. Because you know about all these problems that you talk about. what? Erasing peg. You're going down a railway. You know about these problems. So, for instance, syndromatized leadership. I sang up as so, O paper and up. These people are in your city. I saw them born. But if you are a poor girl, you If you are I could. You are not a poor girl. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, just before we get that interpretation, let's get the second round of people. I promise to start right on top. Uh, this time but the hands were okay that one hand on top there how many hands on top one I see one I see two one two you can come down so long uh, you will be the one number one and two uh, from the top where I promised to start. Um, let me come this side now. Number three. Number four. Number five. Um, okay, sit down, Dada. You'll have a chance. Number six. Number six. 
number seven. No, the mama there. Mama in front, seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Yeah. So I will appeal to those who are going to speak. You can see there are still many people who would like to speak. And we don't want anybody to leave without saying what they want to say. So those of us who are here, please let us remember that others also want to give their input. Let's get the interpretation, then we go to the second round. I am Sinkulu Mangasha. I wrote down what I was going to say, but judging from the distance, as I see you sitting here, I feel like you don't really care. You are wasting our time. Leadership, I'm an African, and as an African, I want to ask you, who elected you as a parliament? It's us, the people, from 1994 up until now, 2022. We only see you now about the challenges of the railway. I hear other speakers speaking about bridges. Well, as you can see, I am bold. Now you have a, I am bold. And I'm, although that I'm young, now you come to us saying you have a, a budget. You call us and give us food. We know what you are calling us for. It's not going anywhere. I moved from Zakele to Bukamuso. Uh, where they built houses next to the railway station and you would say that you don't want us to build there but you as a government built those houses. From 1994 to 2006 though they built those houses where it, it is really not good for us to stay there. Sorry to say but you, are, you parliament you are hypocrites. Before you came to us fix yourselves. You take our people and you take Peter's to show off for what? For fun? Please don't waste our time. You know that we have problems. So rather go back where you came from. Thank you. Uh, good afternoon, Parliament. Welcome to Northwest. <laughs> you are well placed. This is public participation process. You are consulting with the public. For the job well done, thank you. Uh, let me refer the, the House to the page 5 of the, the bill. Uh, I see in the definitions of the bill you have not included uh, communities as, uh, in terms of the definition. Uh, maybe this bill will work in, in isolation. That is one of the concerns. But I would like to submit that the, the word community be inside, uh, inserted and it be clearly defined because uh, where railways operate, they currently operate within the, the community space. Um, the other issue that I also have concern on the bill, uh, it is in terms of offenders. Uh, they are also not included, but I know in Chapter 9, Part A, Offenses and Penalties, we would like that I, I, I would like that I submit that offenders be, be included in the definitions and be defined. Um, because they have a, a role to play in chapter nine of the bill. Um, and then let me talk to the powers and functions of the regulator. It is also silent around violations to say when, when a person has violated uh, the, safe, the railway safety, what then becomes a, a criminal charge. I, I also see maybe is to say one of the functions that would like, I would like to submit being inserted on the bill is that that it that the role will be, the function will be to report criminal activities and recommend legal actions for, for the minister to implement. Let me refer the House also further to page 23 of the bill. It talks about the consultative forum. And the only position there I see is that of the secretary, which is made permanent, but it does not also talk about the whole composition of the, the consultative forum whether is it uh, inclusive of the community or it, it deals with the matters of the board only. The, and then why, why doesn't it include the, the community participation in it? 
Um, my last submission would be to Parliament in terms of this bill that we adopt a safety model of the, the how train to all provinces of South Africa. I have no further submission. Thank you. Thank you very much, Chair. ya <laughs> Hai <laughs> Hotla Tusa Tata Moho Kaolo number nine, chapter number nine, Yamala Tomo Ono Varona, Hor Rizi Sinta Hor Sententa Holofan Vahu Yakabo Mang, Nka Ingwe Yamana Le Balau di Bata Tirileta Ho, Mo di Poro Lemodi Terena Kosa de Regulator. So letting Mo Yeleza Ekiti, Hokat Halisua Sinta Horeano Hamato Akudile Mela Yatirileta Ho, E Amana Litirisoya di Terena, Lisirileta Homo di Porong. Then go tlhalisa e sentle gore e ko tlhao ya motho yo e tla nna efe ka mantswa mantiro ya setheo seno se e tlhalisa e gore ba tla tla ka go tlhao e ntseng jang mo motho yo ntseng jalo e le gore a a o tlhaelwe ke lo molao kgotsa bo kebe ka jo jo a tla bong a bo dirile kgaolo e ngwe yona e amana fano fa le consultative forums Leone e bo tlhokwa ka gonne re batla go itse gore a e akaretsa maloko otlhe ya sechaba kgotsa gona le bangwe fela ba ba rileng ba ibuang ka bona ke di mametlelelo tse ke batla go di akantsa mo dikgaolong tse o tse ke sa tse ke di umakileng me go ntse go ntse jalo re amogela molao tlhomo ono bo lela stilo re ale boga mela magolo e re le bogela go tla ga ke tapile ya puso mo batho nna ke a tamere ke tswa go khetleng riba local municipality ri ka manya le mametlelo ya molaotheo mme re kopa gore puso e rwale maikarabelo a go tlhokomela gore one di level crossings di makile two eh di ka go tsa maloba tse di tseleng di tlogelwa ke matlotla as we speak now so ke di high crime zones kwa go ri thusa eng re re implementa molao theo re be re ra molao bereke me molao theo di tiro tsa ona di sena ope o di lebeletse mo se bua since 1994 se bua nne matlotla ke a le kwa ba to ba irua eng kwa go tutsiwa go pakiwa dilo tsa bogodu mo matlotleng a le go etsiwa eng eh di phologolo tsa batho ba ba nna mo locationing because di sporo tsa railway ga di a kampelo why we don't know di tswa mo location di tsena go sporo ba re terena go mo ithutse terena how possible is that di level crossing si ga di regulated mongwe le mongwe le ka 12 botse go fitile ka koloi o gatilwe ke terena then go dirua eng kinse se palang gore yes go improve your system go tswa mo malobeng ya gore motho na a gatellwa ka mabaka a rile mare tse ding tsa dilo tse ding tshitsweng ke tse di tshwantseng di a botsele di re tlonna ba re tsa talk show re khaogane go tsa mai go ilo renovatiwa ba ate ba shimane ba thathamolle ba tse di then ga ra itsa se a go renovatiwe go train we ba tho ba tlhokomele di level crossing si di station si on the monitoring and evaluation because puso are na idumela mo di subcontracting and all those things go nna le motho o tlo tlokomela gore ga ri rile penta le batilele le batilele le pentile people must be held accountable but since ma bone ke a le 
ke mang o tlokometseng gore mabona le gatse le dikhe ibone be ke tamba tle ba tsenya mang gape so please government dira melao enne le motho e disitse ka le go Thank you very much, uh, Chairperson. Thank you very much for the visit that you actually have paid to us. My name is Arthur More. I'm from uh, Kete. And I would like to announce right from the beginning that I do support the bill. Um, but we would really like the government to shoulder the responsibility in their work. For an example, we don't have markings when it comes to some crossing levels uh, related to the railway lines. Take the responsibility and make sure that these things are actually in place. So right now, you are very passionate about wanting to do your work, but some of the work that has been done by the government in the past, when I look all over the area where we are, I see some dilapidated structures, the houses that are coming down, they, they need to be renovated. And this has been happening since 1994. And those houses that are running down like this are actually causing lots of problems. They actually are the ones that are giving birth to a lot of muggings when people are passing by them. Uh, people are having some of their animals not fenced in, and actually they are uh, roving around in everywhere. So much so that even they are cows, they actually go and cross the railway lines, and they get hit by trains, and then we then get to be told by the other people, maybe those who may be in authority, to say to us that no, the cow actually hit the train, when the, it is the train that actually hit the cow, because of the fact that jobs that are done are not done to the full and are not being completed. So please have a go, go and look at those structures and make sure that this work gets to be completed. We need fencing to get things under control. Now, my worry is that since 1994, uh, some of the principles and the laws which we lived by had been removed, and we need those back so that uh, uh, we can be able to get things under control. For an example, as I'm saying, renovate the places that are now dilapidated, uh, which we can help us to actually get around uh, 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 the problems that are to do with the trains, the level crossings, etc. Now, the government believes very much in subcontractors or subcontracting the work. There's no problem with that, but if you can please follow through, Make sure that whoever does the job gets completed. Whoever builds the house has a door at the end. Because this is all what we see happening. People put up some uh, masks for the lines, but they are not working. So this is my plea, and we hope that this will be done to completion. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you, Melang. Mr. Chairperson. Honorable members of the parliament. Oh, I'm watching this today from what 32 Madiweng Goswailani under Councillor PD Mamor. Namaka Tongo thing, Komo Tongo Tongo and Nakis Twilight. Most while I never in a list for a sailor for now, Harana train is a Mayang. Sitamaya good train. But, uh, but at about on a chorus for us, Sarona. See between Moti, Lim Main, and then being that, and then Rona, when her transfer is going mining like Liba Berik, how can I say that a long foreign is because the gas is not going to be able to transfer Berik is a mouth. And then in between there, between Moti, Lim Sporoli, between many, how to say that there are bushes, and then the carrying at the side is going People get robbed, but what we are for every day, and a inkutusa was hoku because of leba to baba yam meroko. They use that to be pisa kamos poron like spora seko hodi mo ho taka like before onamela mos poron ha ho no ho bana kamotas, but to baba to na ho na kamotasi and then hamu tafe to baba ho wala mos poron o baba na seba yam mo ho en mo pelo ho ena and then they were gonna attack you. Na we have been a victim like. My younger brother was shot, eight bullets down. 
I am Miroko. Omoro di magaspor because of Hakuna safety. So on twenty kera taho yuko pako hore. At least kela ka engage ali di main authorities or yon la le zama plana hore. Most borong kona le tila hore ko kana ko tila. Since the main ona le transport for their workers, kwenye most borong kona le a bridge. Maybe they could make a plan. I could tell you, it's a kind of moment. The the buses that one, the one who could tell you, most boring than but Babere is a man who touches on stop borrow. Could buy a miracle. Even leader community, hey, I can't go buy a dish of bomb. We get robbed. Limo chakari, but we are robbed. We are not allowed to do much sport. Can't leave us. Thank you. I thank you very much, Chair. My name is uh, Cindy, and then I'm from Ward Number 32 in the area called in the Madibe area. But I live in the village, basically called Swaifan. Thank you very much. And then we, we have a problem, Chair, with um, the railway line here. We have a railway line. We don't have a passenger train but we do have a good train that passes by. There are a lot of issues about this particular uh, railway line. Uh, what happens is that it is very difficult to cross it, maybe by means of any mode of transport. You have to actually walk to cross it. Now, this line is between a village and the mine. So as you can imagine, there is a lot of movement basically there to and fro. Now, the situation with this railway line chair is that when you walk towards crossing it, you sort of have to walk upward. It is high, a little bit high up there, and obviously a little bit bushy. And as you come closer and closer, the criminals who hide there are very invisible. So only when you are at the top of it, you get surprised by them. There is a lot of muggings that happens there. Criminals, it's a hotbed of criminals. They hide here. In fact, very sad to say that my elder brother was actually gunned down, was shot right there in this particular situation. So it's a serious problem that we are dealing with. And obviously, some action needs to be taken to eradicate this very problem that we have been dealing with for a very long time. Uh, people have been marked. We are grappling. Even I am a victim of a lot of things that have happened there. So we need help with this particular area, Chair. Something has to be done so that it can be comfortably crossed, not only by, by food, but also by some means of mode of transport, which will eliminate the lurking dangers that we are grappling with over there. Thank you very much, Chair. Morini, nandu kuna msaye ngwa, kisevener kop, hewa 26. Kanzu wa kanza ila umamzo. Ok, nanzi ndaba piko na nkosiamu. Aikabi, sizo nipati kakubi, pina singa nipati kakubi. Kota siya nyanzeleka. Ifuna landu nkizio zenu zinga kataseki. Koba sizo kota. Funu uteta nge marikani. Imarikani. If una e bridge, which you don't see, just when I tell you, I say I can't get up because it's better than Google. Ute apa wakuna wenye na ten years in the lap. Jeba sent kukile on kukila kona la. Imo te ya tatu apa i twin cape both yo putu omshangan. Zanga kubeba kono kuba na magube uwole kanda oni. Wabe uya pele ni moto yake. And as ba unori tabo la elati. Uzo bengati ya kasi teta, siya kuntueza kutahala, kimsegi ilo kwa nyeninge eko nani, ule nda unikuyo. Kota si zaubeta ni inango kwe milomo, kwa baga loku ya nyanzele, kwa ba. Sifunu ba intebe zizenu, nisivu ba, siya kala. Because ena asiko, asikusele ganga. Ya ntiba ulegle lukusele. Na la pema regani, kwa na lenda kuchaiswa kuya bantu, kuchaiswa ini. Inda ba ye prichi. Isinga se nyan kuben jeng beni la pani kani seki lindok bana ena anis la lingat. 
ikhona into eni phezu kwayo because nyanhla sebuthelwa ngalandawo iphlungu ubuti ebekade sihleka ngoba ke nesicelo ensini into ehlela ikhona uthi umuntu nobuthe tinyani xa kuye ngendlela ayibeka ngayo kunyanze kuba masileke izitolo zilapha kujanti lo nazi izitolo khona la and as the government uzivumela kanjani izitolo ba mazibe cando kajanti ngola hlobo apho kuhamba khona ubungozi Abu zote na abu tulu zote nga uyaki tangu kumela inyani ge asisose siku asui baleke la iiko gende city inchi zote masina kata zingo basi zanbeta aingendo kumlo inchi wa mandi kaba au na upisikas kote asisi elantoni unyeto uba nyani njenga beni zile magube ni zote sabe la iskalo zetu eku zizo nyani. Bendi funa njuu kutoini sa glonda uba si ashlega kona kutoa kuni nyani mta abantu bei teta na baanye kutoa bika ngati ba chini nyani yoto kuti ya fundo ba na kesi tu kuingola tina pesa kose ni utadim bogo tu liti enu ingola intuit enze litu kana si pega na bungo zindi abule la ikuendo ni tena ngai teta Greetings, I am Nomsa Yegwa. Um, you will be hurt um, when we speak harshly to you. Please don't despair because we're trying to get to the point so that you can understand how we feel. Marikana needs a bridge. And again, I emphasize we speak to you harshly because we need safety in the railway station. We need the bridges, the, the issue of the bridges, uh, you really, really need to take into consideration. We may laugh at the speaker that was speaking earlier, but it's the truth that he's speaking because it's the thing that, um, it's the issues that are hitting us that you really need to consider as the parliament. There's a shop close by the railways when we even buy, you, 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 you're not comfortable because it's very close by the railways. So it is really bad. So I can say that again. Please don't feel bad. Don't despair. We are speaking to you harshly, but we are trying to emphasize, as the Kosa saying, that when we crush a stone to get the food, if you are crushing maybe a milli, milli, um, to get milli, if you're crushing the millis to get milli, milli, you are crushing it so that it can produce what you need. That's why you are being harsh to you, so that you can get what we really crying for. Thank you. Yaleboha. Tapule entle eki ratang. Haki surka je kukiri. Ki tu meti. Or kukule wutuku. Ogu wang ona ke tulu felo mohaswa. From what 35. Anda. Laki pizu. As a council, Bakholo Bag, what thirty five kifila kuri rematateing? Yaka matata au cha a safety, a kuna safety at all. So Santa, kuna limusi magagua, uepiwe, hatu uepiwe kiti transnet, bakholo musi ma o ukoz. Kwa hile kote nki robe kile kile mpona kite kumayani. Kina lebo pa kiba te. And batu haba tuwa meroko. Buto tiba ya makafo. Baba pamule la di beke. Kima tata batu ba reipi wakamo. Bupa kiba tuwa toto tekibo. Kulotu la kale ya. Hakimu utu eke nzani. Ena sabu bia edi for safety. Kuna le entrance e wani kwa unit 8. Dikolo hivi sana kayaone, ditu wa kayaone. Rikupa entrance ya bubedi. Paramita pensi. Likuri momo 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 sporomo. At least kukutibelewe. For the livestock. Diko mudi ya tuliwa. Diko mudi ya tuliwa. Kipoza kore libata kore kuswa batu wabaka ipini. Enba nabakulu. Ripatadi karinzi ya nababuti. 
bana tu bana ba tsela mo sona sporo tseo mo ne musima o so at least re ga etsa scholars patrollers gore bana ba ba rona ba ne safe bridge tu ke kopa bridge ba golo bridge ke kgwetlo ke kopa bridge le boom gate di koloi di tsena fela di tswa fela and i'm much more concerned ba golo ke na le concern ya 3 na e e mang e ya mang se ba ka sa ura si wi se se si si wi le fa o kwa nete ha re e ya mang om trend one hour batho e bile ba fufumela ka motla sa teng ka re ke entrance e one ba fufumela ba tsaba ni fifi gore ba tlo tswa ruwa po ho foteng po a representative batho ba modimo re kopa representative mo boto rai kopa e serious sa bo be di sa bo felelo ke go betse yana ke sa itse re nka report akae re kopa di office tsa gore motho a report gona no ke mo crisis e di doctor di buile di are it's a lifetime pain ke phela ka di police i thank you Chairperson, uh, thank you for this opportunity. Um, my name is Tolofelo Mohaswa. Uh, from Ward 35, under the councillor uh, called Mr. Lucky Peter. Chairperson, um, well, I'm having some mixed emotions actually today. You know, I don't know if I should say I'm sad or happy, but anyway, let me take this uh, opportunity to recognize you. Chairperson, um, my challenge that I have, or what I would like to submit uh, to you and to your committee, um, is that in our ward, this ward that I mentioned before you, ward 35, there's an issue of security, safety and security, particularly in our railway. You know, secondly, Chairperson, um, something of concern, you know, is the big hole that was digged apparently by Transnet department. Um, so far, we don't even know what was the aim or the objective or the reason why they dig so big, so much, uh, um, a hole of so, so much size, you know. Um, Chairperson, unfortunately, I'm so sad that, in fact, I'm a victim of this specific hole that I'm talking about because I just broke my leg, you know. I'm in so much pain because of this hole. This hole, Chairperson, is posing so much danger, not only to me, but to the public at, at large, especially to our children. Chairperson, I'm going to continue to ask the same way that the previous speakers has asked for uh, the, the boom gates, the control lights, including the bridge, even the fences that will barricade um, our railway lines, you know, to avoid animals that we mentioned before that they are colliding with the trains. Um, Chairperson, you are so much in danger because of um, the lack of attention that is paid in our area in Ward 35. Chairperson, um, please do take note that currently um, I'm under medication on the severe pain that the doctor has told me that I will suffer this pain as a permanent um, situation of my leg, Chairperson. So I'm not happy at all that I had to, broke my, to break my leg, you know, due to um, the, uh, the lack of effort that has been put by our department. Chairperson, most importantly, most importantly, please see to it that you, pro you provide some uh, scholar patrols. There must be some initiative um, from your office to make sure that there's scholar patrols uh, that will assist our kids in crossing this particular um, railway station. Lastly, Chairperson, um, as a matter of concern, it's not only me that have this concern about the train that is, you know, part or could actually wait for um, a period of an hour, you know. This is where exactly where people are starting to be marked because um, there's no satisfaction of movement of this train. So, Chairperson, please, um, also I'm, I'm asking you humbly to provide us with a representative, you know, from your board, somebody that we can rely on um, in terms of our issues. Um, the other point, Chairperson, um, in conclusion, is the issue of offices in our area. You know, so whenever we have been challenges, we don't even have any office that is reliable that we can, um, 
you know, submit our queries. So provide us with um, ex access to offices so that we can be um, easily uh, assisted in terms of our issues. Thank you, Chairperson. Thank you, Chairperson. Uh, my name is uh, Lucky Nkolele Nipito. I'm a ward councillor in Mukwase Ward 35, sub-region Moses Kotane. Uh, Chairperson, I welcome this democratic process that you have allowed the community to be part of. Uh, but before I can uh, get in in the discussion today, I would love to suggest to the Secretariat that, uh, that uh, she reads the minutes of this uh, gathering before we leave. That's a suggestion that I'm making. Uh, genuine, genuine concerns have been made by the community. Uh, it's, it's a very it's very emotional, but I will try not to be emotional because what's happening in our rural areas where the, there's a railway, uh, 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 railway line, things that are happening there are hectic. People are dying there. Uh, people are being marked. It's, it's, it's very serious issues. Very serious issues. Uh, leadership that shows that there's a problem in the current leadership. You see, when we can all gather like this and then you hear uh, problems, the community articulating its problems the way it's doing, it shows that there's a problem up there. It shows leadership that you have detached yourself from the community. I hope you are not offended, but I'm painting you a clear picture that you should take to the minister that your work that you've been doing is not visible down there. If it was, we were going to be talking something positive right now, not articulating problems that we are currently articulating. If you go through this document, uh, in page 24, there's where it says enforcement. Leadership. We hope that this uh, gathering that we are part of, we hope that the law that we are assisting you with will be enforced. We hope that the minister together with you, will employ capable people who will make sure that they make inspections that this law is enforced. Because the problem is with the enforcement of the law and the people that you hire to inspect that this law is enforced. So I urge you to come back to the community. Let the community be part of your decision making. Employ the community. We have a company, Transnet. Transnet is within the community, but the community is not benefiting anything. Transnet is not doing anything to the community. It's not even empowering the community. The issue of safety. If leadership, you enforced the law and you made sure that uh, Transnet uh, abides by the law, I think most of us wouldn't be complaining the way we are complaining. Use the same community, train them to be the ones who, who, who cut the railway station. If you go through the, the railway station in where I come from, it's a rural municipality. The grass there, near the railway, it, 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 it needs to be debushed. Who debushes those, those, uh, uh, that grass? 
You should employ the community. You are creating employment for us and assisting us as young councillors to do our jobs efficiently. But currently, leadership, you are making our job very difficult as councillors. I had a community meeting, I think it was in February, whereby the community was, was, was complaining. They were lashing me, saying, councillor, you are not doing anything. The community we are in is developing, but there's only one entrance. Sometimes at night, the train just stops in that entrance. You find that even ambulances can come inside the, the, the community to assist. We made petitions. I had to go about asking who these petitions will go to. I was assisted, I, was, I spoke to one gentleman called, uh, who's this, Nkosing Pile Manana. We made petitions, we, we emailed them, I've got those documents, I will submit them, I will leave them with you. So please, uh, leadership, uh, take us serious. Please, leadership, uh, what we are saying here, please let it be implemented. Be visible in our communities. All the inputs made here are very important. Please take cognizance of this input that has been done here. I thank you. ke le boga thata modula stulo lina la me ke lucky pizza eh ke tswa ward number 35 eh ke nang kwa go yone me ke tshegetsa le go itumelela eh thulaganyo e ya se democracy e le ngore o itle fa mo gore na ka yone le gore le tlelela rona maloko a eh sechaba gore re ntse di tshwaelo tsa rona me ke rata go ntsha tshitshikeng fa no modula stulo ya gore eh pele re tsa maya re tswa fano fa re kopa gore mo kwa lady wa committee eno ya rona eh a ya go leba metsotso kgotsa ditshwetso tse di dirilwe mo kopanong eno gore a tla khone go dilatedisa janong dilo tse di diregang matshwenyego a tlhagisitsweng fano fa tota a ukisa botlhoko thata modula stulo le nna tota a nkama go tswa pelong jana ke ne ke batla go tlhalosa fano fa ke reng dilo tse di diregang mo eh diporong tsa rona ke tsona tota tse dir amampelo eh ke mathata magolo batho ba aswa batho ba tshora dipowo eh ke mathata fela mo sechabeng ga fele ene le baka la go bo go direga dilo tse di tshwana le tseno tse ke ka le baka la gore lona ba etele dipele eh Halu diri tiro ya lona sentle ga re kgone go bona matswela a tiro e lo reng lu busy lo idira otherwise nka ba go sena mathata ano a rena lona gone jano jana selo selo se bontsha gore eh tiro e lo se bontsha gore tota lo khaogane le maloko a sechaba e gona le se khala mo gare ga lona le maloko a sechaba me lo re lo a ba thusa ga re bone tiro e lo idira gone jano jana e gona nya ha nke be e leteng re ka be re bua ka dilo tse di molemo fela re sa utlwe di ngongoro go tse di kana kana tse batho ba ntse ba tsoletse pele ba di bua go ya ka page 24 ya molao tlhomo ono ba rona se se kwadilwe mo ke letsa gore e kete se ka tsengwa tirisong re solofela gore molao o lo kwadileng le o lo tlotlang fao o ka tsengwa tirisong re kgone go bona gore tota lwa idira tiro ya lona ja ka halo tlhalosa re re letsa gore e kete lona lo ka tlhomamisa gore lo dira gore molao o o tsengwe tirisong mathata ano a a fele ha lo ka dira jalo lo tla bo le dirire tiro e molemo se seng se ke se tlhokometseng ke gore transnet e teng mo gare ga batho me batho ga ba benefit sepe mo go se transnet e reng e a se dira gone jano njana se lo se o ke bothata eh se lo se 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 ke se etseng tlhoko mo gare ga dilo tso tsotlhe tseno tse ke eletsa e kete lo ka batla batho lo ba katise ka mantswang lo ba train e ne bone ba ba agang diporo tse re nang le tsone ka gone batla a itse gore di tshwanetse go agiwa ka tsela entseng ka dire station 
motse se le gae wa rona e leng aba rural municipality o re nang le one ha o ka o leba tlhaga e goletse go godimo dimo ha gona o pe o dirang sepe mereletsa e ketelone le ka batla bone batho ba basha ene bone ba ba bakanyang mathata ano a ra bona a le teng gongwe le gongwe lona ja ka ba itele dipele ba rona e ga se gore ra lo khala me re kopa gore ka tsoetswe e e e dirang tiro ya lona sentle ka gone tota lona lo re bakela mathata lo dira tiro ya rona gore ene e buiba ga lo re tlhokofaletse mathata ka jalo maloko a se chaba ja ka ke le mo councilara ba ne ba nkhokhoitsa le nna ba mpolella ba ntha dipuo ma mpolella gore ga ke dire sepe mo tirong ya me me bo thata jo ke na le jone ke gore ke lona lo sa dirang tiro ha nka ba lo dira nka ba ke khona go dira ditiro tsa me le nna ke ra gore so se se tshwana fela le khanya gore o bone trainer e tla fela be fitla e e ma mo gare ga sporo e sa tlhole khona go tsa maya e tsoetse entrance e lengwe fela e re tsena le go tswa ka yone le di ambulance di sa khona go tsena a re ba ka nyeng bothata jo bontseng jalo re le nthloko re ile ra romela dingongorego tsa rona nna le nko simpila manana re ile ra romela ka email dingongorego tsa rona e le gore ditle di sekegelo tsebe ne ke sa tshwana go boke me fano fa ke bua ka mathata ano ne di tshwantseng ka bodisa tse dira ra bonotswe ka tsa re kopa gore dirang se lo reng lo tlile go se dira ka tsoetswe modula stulo ke tshwaelo ya me e o ke a leboga ดิเลดิจาวาโฮโลเกเลโบเฮลาสวากาเซกิสตูมานิสิเอคาเกเลโกฮอต 18 Motsana o ke nna mona o ha o fithata le station e se o le sporo go ne go na le batho ba bitsiwa gore ke contract mo mo sporo e bitsiwa mo janji ba na le dintlo ka mo hare ha ha station ka na go eo dilo tsa di dira ha la mo go na yana ka di train di ne di seteng go ne go le mona te na te na te e bile go na le safety go ne go na le mapone sa a ona mo janji o o tlhokomela mbatho ke ne ke tloha mo station sa rona sa develop ke namela tirene ya nnaene tlhoko bo sigo ke ya ko mafikeng ko tlhola a buta ka ko rwe front ke tsena ko mafikeng the following day but re ro bala ka mo hare ha tirene ho u phaphama u fitlela e le hore mapone sa a shia anti aronta ronta ka mo hare ha tirene ono o fitla ko le nteng o le monate e bile ho tlo bo a hafe the following day o wantse lo re ha ho na problem ha ho na hore motho tse tse beke motho o tse tse phone no problem mo janji o ne o ri thusa tota batho ba re nang ha o finyana mo mo sana o ke nna mona ke motho o wa mmaka u but section e ke le mmo yona ke tshwara yona e ha o file develop station bana ba ri thusa bana ba thusa le community batho ba go ne re here bo 5 o'clock ho na le tshipi e lang ko re malapa e leng hore ha bana dijo le tsa maka di pitsa le ya go station e kwa ba fitla ba le tsholela dijo lo tsa le a hae la robala ho ne ho se na le ka le bia le le kima le batho ba buang le sekare ne se se te mo sporo no le safe o bona o khole kwa o bona ho ne ho le ba bereke bona ba o ba mo janji ba ba bereka mo mo station e se o mo go tle mo ne re o nwa bote divete o fitla go borangua ne le yona mo janji o ho ya bo be di hape ke hore e ya hona ba no ntereng e e bile re ke wele go yona ele ela e sele ya go batsa my sister in law ya re a folowa mo training e ho ja se ya ha e be e tshwara ke le bati e mo go go tse long distance ko ile a ke re yona he sa ma ho na le go re ho ha te yo e ma ko kholekwa he yo e ma mo ho o marapwa o tlhale tso ho a robe hile lo tlolo lo tlhelela ha e dinama ditswile 
wa rwadiwa wisi wa sepetela ko thembitsa o ntse 1 year 6 months ko sepetela so sa thembitsa ene kana ko eo o ne ana le bo 40 years nitola ha le dile la Kennedy wa fela a sala ka sunza na nyana se sa sa letso ene ana le le sia le na le 1 year 6 months fela modimo o ila mo ha o hela a phela kona tlhokofetseng last year o ikhudisa itse bana ba hae ka letso go nyana leo e bile ha o na le sente nyana e kileng a ikere ya ka hore ba train mo training ne ba re he train yo thutse o itse hore wena o rumutse train o thutse train ha ho na le sente nyana mosadi ya modimo e kileng a ikere ya ba hore bo motswala ke ba ba be di le bona ka koloi ba thula ke ke train yo na ya malatla e ba tlhokofala same time ha ho na sepe se se long hore bi le ba ile ba se bona ke tlo tsena mo e ya hona ba no train e e yona e stroho ha mpe train e ka hore ha ho na safety ha ho na e ha le ntse ka mo hare ha train ho tla ta dinokwane fela ntsha di beke gore ke ke tsebetsebe e long hore mo leselwa di beke leselwa everything ho na le moshimanya no mo o nna ngo thukwa ka kwa ba sele ba mo latlha ka ka le festival ona na no hana mauto a mabedi a e bile o loketse mauto a a di chip o tsama ka ka wheelchair so ba botlhe ba re la ka ntho e one fela ya ya safety fela ho utwa malemang o bua o nna ka safety e bile mo di mo ha mo go rona hona go develop station e go wa fetsa mmane Okay. 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 Si ya kodi femenza ntwe sa sa ko 15 hente ho ya ho ya sporo seo ba re tlohetse mo mushime bya no ka sporo seo sporo sele santiwa mo hona ba no re ka mo re mo mo rao ha ha mushima o le ngore le dipholo holo le ntsa mo ikare me o o feletse re a le boga me a re feba ngwe point ya Chairperson, um, thank you. Uh, thank you again for the opportunity um, that you have given unto me to present and submit my concerns before um, uh, the Parliament. Uh, Chairperson, my name is Doreen Matibedi. I'm from Ward 18 uh, under the councillor called uh, Per Songwane, if I pronounce him right. I'm actually representing um, a small committee of women um, called Sawood. Well, Chairperson, uh, you know, back in the time, we, we used to actually enjoy ourselves, uh, particularly when you use the trains, that um, things have changed now. Back in the time, things were, okay, we didn't have any issues in terms of safety because uh, in Muchachi, there were uh, nicely houses that were built for security officers you know, that were taking care of us at a time. But uh, things have changed now. We are facing so much challenges of, of safety and security. You know, um, to refer you back, just for an example, Chairperson, um, to just to give you a bit of a background that I used to travel, you know, from a station called Develt, from Develt uh, all the way to my... with no issues of security you know along the route in the train uh, we were safe our cell phones our belongings were safe you didn't even fear that um, our belongings would be taken by any uh, criminal in the train um, but sadly you know those privileges um, are now being taken away from us things have changed not to the better but to the worst you know uh, chairperson I'll also emphasize that during that time we had police officers you know 
um, patrolling in the, in, the, in, the, in the train as we move along in our trip. But we don't have police officers now visible in our area. Um, Chairperson, I'd also like to recommend and applaud the Mochachi, the team, the employees that were employed in Mochachi, you know. They were not only giving us safety and security, but they will also share some food with us, you know, to an extent that they will actually even ring a bell, uh, inviting us to, uh, to come get some food. You know, that's how far they were really um, helping us and having so much courtesy and hospitality uh, to us as the resident of um, what, eight, eight, 18. Chairperson, um, with a set note um, on the same issue of the train, my sister at some point, she also became a victim, you know, of, of, of uh, this train because uh, she, she, she got brutally um, uh, injured, you know, her right hand was actually uh, sadly wounded, you know, and she was actually hospitalized for about one year, six months in hospital, uh, but with the mercy of God, at a time when the accident happened, she survived the accident. Unfortunately, right now, um, she, she passed out. Uh, she passed away, Chairperson. Sorry about that. She also had a child of one and six months, which she left behind. Chairperson, not only her, actually, even some of my family members have became, um, you know, the victims of accidents of these trains. But unfortunately, they don't even get any compensation, you know, compensation to say, look, you were involved in an accident. The government at least will assist you with some funds for you to, um, to survive. Lastly, Chairperson, uh, on the same breath, I would also like to bring this situation before you uh, about the young man who's staying uh, just around my area who was once thrown out of the window of uh, the current train. In fact, I don't like this train. Um, it's so dangerous. So this young man uh, even lost both his legs. He's now on wheelchair because of this incident that happened uh, in, 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 in this train. Chairperson, we all have common issues. We are all here complaining about the same thing of safety and security. So please, Chairperson, do put some effort uh, to make sure that um, we are safe and we can be comfortable when we are uh, using this train. Thank you. Thank you very much. I just want to greet the Chairperson, the Honorable Members of the Parliament, and the House at large. Parliament to the people. My wish is to see this thing happening often, not only when coming to amendment of bill or acts, but the parliament should really come down to the grassroots and listen to the grievances of the people. With the little time that I per perused through the document, I realized that the document that we have, it is nothing but a code of conduct for the board of members. But it has nothing concerning the communities, particularly those that are affected. Safety is a big issue that can have direct and tremendous economical empowerment or local empower, economic, locally economical empowerment. That can bring also an increased tourism, especially within the villages. I'm from Macau, Ward 19, under the leadership of Alex Matlo. My name is Vincent Utwa. First and foremost, I appeal that there should be a public campaign that should be done now and again, as this act is vague and it's not understandable by the lay people on the ground. So there should be that consultation, particularly with the civil organization or community organization within the communities, adjacent communities. Thirdly, institutions like PRASA and Transnet should be enforced to engage with the communities more and more, of, more often as whatever happening in the railway directly affects our livelihood and our health and also our economy. So these institutions, they have built a bridge between themselves and us as the community. I'm gonna speak concerning Macau. 
When you look at the rail station, rail station from tailored to developed, absolutely there has not been any situ security ever since, even before the vandalization of the infra infrastructure. Because when you, I, I'm, a I'm, a, I'm a commuter, I, use, I used train often. And sometimes you'll find that from Pretoria to, 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 to developed, there will not be any security personnel, especially at night, or any lights whatsoever, particularly at the station of Develt. When, when, when the last train comes in around 10, 10 o'clock, there are no security personnel, and that makes our railway a criminal hub. Please consider that. Thirdly, the psychological effects of the railway especially to the passengers. There has, there has been and is been a lot of incidents occurring within the rail, railway. But there has not been a psychological support to the families and communities that are affected by all those um, incidents. And it really affects the communities. The issue of community consultation, this is a serious issue. Your code of conduct speaks of the board of directors. Why can't you infuse subcommittees or people from the class level that will also be a mouthpiece of the challenges of the people that are suffering from the ground level? What am I saying? Why can't they be a subcommittees, even if it can be chosen district-wise or municipality-wise, particularly concerning the communities that are affected. One of the speakers spoke about training. This is but a great issue. We know nothing about this bill or the previous bill. We know nothing about permits, operators, particularly in Macau. You'll find that people that are working, particularly as train operators, I will speak this thing because I've seen it in this document. They are not given a chance or given a knowledge on how to apply or how to get in within um, this industry and also become um, train operators. Meaning that there is no empowerment whatsoever, particularly to the youth, concerning what can the youth benefit out of this um, industry. We all know that train, it is a form of green, green transport as it, it, it emits less carbon than fiat transport. That shows that a lot of people can benefit, especially it can save a lot of people money. Those previous stations that are no longer working, why can't you guys come up with a plan to revive them, connecting the communities? We are from poor backgrounds and poor communities. Why can't there be a station, a train that coming from developed to breads as it used to be? And there are no infrastructure, there are no structure, particularly from developed up until breads. Like the Okasi lady have, have said, there's a lot of occurrences that has happened there. There are no structures that has fenced that and it impact our local economy as much as our livelihood as far as cattle are concerned. Mostly, please engage with the people from the grassroots level. Engage with the civil organizations. Engage with the community-based organization. Engage with everyone that will make sure that there is a safety within the railway and there's a safety within our communities. Thank you very much. I'm just trying to find my notes. I've got many pages now. Uh, let me write it. Okay. 
ya le boga modula stulo ke fitisa di tumediso tsa me mo go wena selo se ke batlang fela go simolla ka sona ke si utlhalo se fana fa ke gore ha ke le bala tokomane eno e le riketseng ka yone tota ga se sepe fela ha ise a code of conduct e le gore ya mana fela le se tlhopa sa botsa maisi e ke te ga ina e re thusa ka sepe ha ke ntse ke shebile e gone jano jana e ha ke lebelela ke bona e ke te e ga etle gore thusa ka sepe ha ntse re tsoletse pele re ntse re re buisana ka yone mo nako eno ya gone jano jana Sorry, chat. Pardon me, please. Just one second. Um, I've got uh, pages mixed up here because I've been keeping up with <laughs> the multiplication of them, but I've got them all together in one place. All right. Uh, it's not this one. Uh, the noise levels are a bit high. I know that we, we've been here for some time. It's quite warm. But if we could just lower our volume, please. Uh, Chair, I've got the notes. I've done them. Can we continue with the next? Let me find them and then I'll come back with the interpretation because I think something is mixed up here. All right. I'm All so right. sorry let's, about that, Chair. Let's get to the next speaker. Jalebo <laughs> Eh, Sading Kahekes of Magau, Bamagau by Fitile Babansifa, Maratalosa, Mutilim with Esia, and Cassi well, the modules and Sebadi Willie, Carriage Sepa Horlum could win. A Sasetona, a Battle de Pilobarona, a Gemaswavi, Kaur, a Helefa, Leleba Mapal, a Bompala Mente, Little Hood Radio Lazarun, me, Hosena. Baba Mota, Simo Philip Muhar Haruna, a Kiatepa who reduced the Belanzona. Pay the Toto Hakolo Nago di Fita Mota Simo, more by Leonel Tobar Mamorona, the Tabedi Sinya Hill, the other man said the change, the change, the change. Monkebe, a little limo, Bugonibu Pirimafa, a Honalema Cancellara, Bata Falebona, Bata Hudra, Honalidi. Uh, organization that said in Teddy Linkamuta Saprasa Transnet in Batafali or Abatu, or by Kukel Seri Lankasona. Just because you said the Buante Tama Brichi, sorry, the trend is a Magai guy, and that Omo would obliterate for Arikets, Hepper Hagali, which is a report of Hori, a roll of Rabu relay, Legacy, Legacy Marad, Lehe Lawrence, Bakwa Lafal. Yanum, eh. Nasa Holo Secretos Buanke Tire Leto Ekamahari Hadi Train is a Banamid. A Santa Honago Diverte between Diverte and Pretoria, Honale Train, Eluring Itile, Eluvilo Tat. I live in Otata Jalo, a Palasite, Eselebe Idiriwa, Hore Isire Leto Rabatuasi gave a Batsila Sport. Isn't Ntwen tato o munga fetsa ngwe bua mo arli diradilo e re le fetsa e be le tla le tlo re bolella 
ka he le lebelletse hore maybe ho tlotswa di tendara la re le komedi tsela tla tlo re bolela hore le ditse yaane le sa etsa nthere batlang e ke be le ile le re he le tlotsa palasite e la ya between pretoria le divert e be le ile go schabe le botsa schaba ho le tlo batla le gora la mofuta mang me ba le bolela hona ya no le gora lela le thube ile le lotlhe ke bua yaane train e la mo be ke fitileng e thutse kho bana ke o bolella ya ni train e la etsa mang a ke bua ka train e ya gutsu etsa mang ha iwane ka 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 bitse train e la e tlo a fru ka for a talk etsa mang ke mang tsu e ya kota se ya bua e ya kota se ya bua e ya kota se ya bua ka fa le ka fa ke motse bana ba tletse mo sporo ba ya ka mo ke dipologolo di ya ka ha ho safe hona be a no le bolela ta batsa hore eh le mo bo kone bo pirima ke ke province ya bo bitse le sa yo tsa ma di province tse 9 tse tsotlhetse ke tshepar lo fetsa ngwa ho tla hona bya no trainela e setse le motiriso ya bereka ke bolela bya ne ke bolela mo ke le motei e la isitse batho ka ya bereka batho ba jampa mo na kwa le tlo implementang do tse re di bolela mo tsa hore le tse le ma bridge le tse go tlebe go suile batho ba ba kae mo ka ka mo trainela isiana trainela ha isiana le dipampiri di a tloga motho kwa tse mbotse fela hore ha e ka kiri ya ngwana le motho kwa tsela mo le mo lakhela mo mo sporo nke be re bua yana hona ya no le ke kopa re re bua yana ona bia no e be le hore ona ko eh ko madibeng ba ba mbalola le le ba parliament ba ilo ya ko madibeng ba ba hetsu ba hi ba ko mbakao ba re ba kopa bo thathabo re ba editse bola ba hore re tlise trainele le bilo re sa ba botsa re tsene fela ra lokela le hora le hora le ra fa ba thoba di tendara ba ba sanneng kwa mbakao ba ha le hora le wile re o mongwe wetse ke gate ke ima fela mola o robegile lotu hana le kwa complaint nang kote ke bolela bi ane ona di chipi molto hana kwa ko complaint nang kote ka le hora le loketse mola ndre sa botsi hona le di idp tse di tlile tse ntseng 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 tsa tsa maspala re bua ka e ka ka tshireletso ya 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 yona ya ya training e ha hona se pese se dirahala anthele ka tshe se yone ke kopa hore bo holo a re reng he le le palwa ko hira le security bana ba mo hai ba ba sa diri hona le bana ba ba mo hai ba ba sa diri ba ba ntse hona le ba tho ba ithaupileng le ka mo di police station ke di police in forum bo ho tlokomela community e le hore lona wa ile sa itse di forum ka mo hara tra ask for net re to ba tho ba tla volunteer any one ota volunteer ho ga ta bana ba ba tshela mola mo se ba ke ntsaona bia no re se ka emela di province tse 9 tse tse lo tsa mamo a mo tsona la re le bua la ilo implementa something la tla ka sona ka june next year ba na ba sule di pholoholo di sule so ne ke ikopela hore ko between pretoria le divel ke ikopela hore ke kopa tshireletso e mat Uh, especially between harankuwa le 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 motsokabo o mumtsha o le between makau le 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 di di shope tsa 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 divel ke kopela hore as from monday as from monday ke kopa hore eh eh le eh ise eh gore le ba bolelle go madibe gore re kopa hore le implement something so so to sanko ka re mola re bona kotsi fela or le stop that trade a moment hore e ska tsa ba just because ile tsa tsa challenge ona bia no ile tsa tsa challenge le lebile tsa challenge tsa na ba the safety area ya ba thumo le nna ke lo mogana ona bia no ke 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 mo go thathemo so ne ke ikopela ba hetse hore lo thusa bo thathabo la bo ke bo bona mo a se nna fela ke bo bona ke bo thathabo bo holo ke a le bo eh can i appeal I know people want to talk that there are people who are very hungry who are sickly it's been a long morning and uh, most of the things that people are saying have already been said and this is not at all intended to stop anybody from saying I'm just saying as you want to speak just consider that people are very hungry it's a sunday they want to rest others and uh, there has been a lot of repetition out of frustration which we understand so we are appealing once more again there's been people who are exceeding the time and we don't want to be rude and cut you short but we need to be sensitive that many things have been said people are very hungry others can't hear any longer So let's just have that into consideration as we continue. 
will get the interpretation and the last speaker on this round and will assess if there are any more hands. Thank you very much, Chair, for allowing me to find my notes. I have, have them right here in front of me, so I will translate them into Setswana for the benefit of the community. Um, economy <laughs> khotsa ga e rene khono ya gore re kgone go dira ditiro dingwe tse di mosola mo sechabeng rona re ntse re le ba maloko a ba age le ina lame ke eh ke tswa go makao ko motsengwa makao me le ina lame ke Vincent Kutlo so ntla ya ntla e ke neng ke batla go e tlhalosa fano fa ke ya gore eh re letsa re tlhokometse gore tokomane eno e ja ka ha re buile molao tlhomo ono ba rona ga o re dire le sepe เอ่อเขาทุเซเลเมคาทรอเอเลนเตมอขาร่ขาบาอาคิเอเลนอินทายันคะเมนทายาโบเบดิเซกิอากันยังกาโซเนกิโครคอนเซจากาอิกิเ
uh, fellow community members have spoken mouthful. Well, I'm just going to be brief. I'm, try I'm going to try to be as short as possible. I only have three points that I need to bring to your attention. Um, please do uh, listen attentively. First point, Chairperson, um, you want to talk to us as the community members, but um, you know, when information comes from your parliament or from your cabinet uh, down to us as community members, it's easy for information to be distorted or to lose meaning when you try to communicate with us. This is because we don't have uh, anyone that is representing us as the community. Um, so I'm pleading uh, to you that agencies like Praza and Transnet should be involved when you are um, sharing information with us. So when they're involved, it will be easy for us to access information uh, through them. Second point, Chairperson, I, I do acknowledge the fact that currently we do have a train in Develt. However, this train is obviously traveling in high speed, but um, there's no barrication um, to assist in terms of safety. You know, when a train is traveling in that high speed without any means of safety um, in, our, in our railway, that is, a, that is a problem and it's a challenge that I want to also highlight. Um, so I'm asking nicely, Chairperson, that do initiate some palisades, uh, build some bridge uh, for the safety of people, but most importantly, Chairperson, I'm aware that you did not even uh, give yourself some time at least to consult the community of Macau on their needs, you know. You need to go down to the people and inquire and consult what is exactly, uh, that, uh, what, what is exactly that do they need uh, from you as the members of parliament. This very train, uh, Chairperson, just now, last week, you know, it collided with a cow because obviously, yes, uh, some colleagues have already mentioned that there's animals roving around the train station. So just last week, um, we had an incident where the train collided with a cow there. Chairperson, uh, you know, it's so sad that I, I had you, you mentioned that uh, Northwest Province is the first province that you visited, and you're still going to continue with, or with your jolly tour, if I can put it like that. Uh, I'm, I'm sure and I'm certain that your tour will only finish next year. You know, by the time you finish your tour, ask yourself how many people would have died at that time. Just when you finish your tour, ask yourself how many kids will have lost um, their lives, Chairperson, because you, you're really not doing any much for us. Um, lastly, Chairperson, um, one of the person that I know, or the gentleman uh, that also got injured in a very same um, uh, railway or station, you know, he also broke his leg, you know, because there's no effort or security there. I would encourage you, Chairperson, to rather empower our, our people, particularly our youth, our kids, you know, and, and I'm sure that people will be eager to participate in the CPF, uh, the Community Police Forum, to assist in terms of safety, because clearly you can't provide um, security uh, for us. So in, in Macau, I'm going to emphasize again that we need you to reinforce uh, the security there to ensure uh, safety of our people. Thank you, Chairperson. In my Catherine, oh, Mama Camela, get her court 17, under councillor Moraila, a Madibing municipality. I'm sure you will be able to get a Developed and tailors, it's among Hanabano. By Hirile, but by Randi Defense. Fence Ela Giboni in El Safety. Because Omolo Maganat Lagatang Aikata, Kwanali Dabla Pohab. So on Tener Kupela Hore, Heli Hirile, but what we hear, but body tender, but we Randi Defense Dilomang, in the Dilot in a locality. This Abedia Katio, Garholo Tuana Chalete, Yasinua. Quatliwa motuira tenda wakata ina double up happy safety high nite 
ho na le di grow no hana motho kwa sport mo le bana ba tshamika moteng bolo ya tshela e tshelela ka ntlela ngwana tshontsoro a ilate kotsi itla gona mo so ka mkhosetse ba boletse ba boletse go tlala satla ene di councilor ra le di hot committee re tshwara boima because he setse tshaba se nya ka dikaraba ga re khono ikarabela because a re ha ne so se go rotsa re tlela gore ka train go bereke ha eng ka eng a re ne training e ho ne re kopa mo re ena di hot committee and councilors ho re fen re feng opportunity ya ho re tsene mo ho re kre training le rena ka re phela re bereka le tshaba ho re khono bona gore he re bereka le tshaba le rena ra itsi ka 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 safety ya 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 sporo le tshaba so a ritse selo he batla ka dikaraba ha re khono baraba ha ne ntho re itsi so ne re khopela ho re tsentsi ya ka mkholi tlileng ka teng ho nna gore le tlo boa hape le tlo re botsa di antsara tsa rena ene dilo tse re di khopetseng di rahale le sa tsa di document tsa rena le mantswa rena la he re fitla la samela chairperson re nya ka dilo tsa rena gore di tsame ka tsela gore le ka bushuhe le tla mo rena re tle ka matla re tle re tlhabile gore a wa dilo tsa rena di tsa ka tsela re sa le tsi ya ra di tsetse ya he re tla ka maratla ka ntwa re nyoko tla go le monate ya le boga Thank you very much, Chairperson. My name is Catherine Magamela, and I'm from Ward Number 17 uh, in the area of Magau. Uh, there has been a lot of people from Magau who have already expressed the problems that we are grappling with right now in Magau, the said village. And well, we appreciate having uh, the train, but. The biggest problem about it is safety. So that is something that we are, we are, we are, we are really um, um, having a problem with because it is cheap for us to jump into the train from a place such as maybe like to go to Pretoria. So we really appreciate it's been utilized, but if we can really look into the matter of safety. For an example, some of the problems that we are having right now is that when you jump into the train from Devert and go to some other places, you can see that fencing has been done. Obviously, that is meant to uh, prevent uh, dangers from occurring because it keeps us away from the rail line. But we know that people who have built some of these fences, where we have seen them, are people who obviously have received a tender to do so. But then the biggest problem that we have with the work they have done is that it is of the substandard, low quality work. Because why I'm saying this is that they built a fence. In no time, you can see that it has been cut open. Now people are starting to take shortcuts again through that fence. So what's the use? It's really a waste of money. And we are appealing to you to make sure that those who are, are, are afforded and accorded that tender must at least be people who can put up some work of good quality. Because right now, one of the other problems that we have is that um, we've got a lot of kids in the village who play. They play ball and some different types of other games. When the ball runs off onto the rail line, they follow it. And obviously, the possibility of being hit by a train are many there. So this fencing is needed, but it must be of a very good quality. Nobody should be able to cut it open again and establish a thoroughfare or that shortcut which people are actually using to get to some of the places. So we ask you to please to take us very seriously. And then we would like to come to these meetings with enthusiasm. We want to come here and speak about positive things, not negative things. If we can only listen to the things that we are saying, some of the upcoming meetings are going to be a joy to come and attend them. Thank you very much, Chair. Thank you. Thank you very much um, for the inputs we have received thus far. And I think I we want to make the following few observations. First one is that, as you have been listening, there's been a lot of repetition of things that have already been said. The second thing is that 
I think many speakers would have missed our introduction where we said why we are here and how we want uh, us to engage in this. Having said that, there's been a lot of valuable inputs regarding the bill that not only have we taken notes of, but the Secretariat on our left has been taking notes and recording everything that has been said. And so it is almost four hours that we have been sitting here. Of course, it is your meeting, but I wanted to suggest that I think we would have exhausted unless there is some people who really feel they still need to talk. So we want to hear from you, what uh, do you guide us to do? It's your meeting, we came to you, we invited you. It's not within us to say we are cutting you short, but we wanted to make those inputs and interventions. But uh, Lastly, there is still an opportunity to write your comments at the Secretariat on my left, your right. So those that are written will have the same weight as those that people have said with their mouths. So it is not all lost. You can tell them in your own language. They'll make sure that they capture anything you wanted to say. So I would like to have an indication if uh, we think we have exhausted as much as possible or you still want to continue. So maybe just by show of hands, people who say we can wrap it up, Chair, we will be fine. Let yeah, me no. see those hands. That, that says, yes, we have done what we could do. All right, thank you very much. I think it's very clear, colleagues and uh, members of the public, that the majority of people here feel like this has been exhausted to the best that we could. And this is part of democracy. And then say we go on a carol ya si democracy. Where we want to hear what the majority says. More but now who go for a bunti bone worry. And the majority has spoken. And a villa bunti bunti telefoco le ready. So in the next few minutes as we wrap up. We have listened to you. Some suggestions have been made of what should happen with what we have heard. 
go ntshitswe di tshitshinyo tsa gore re tshwanetse re ra dira eng ka se re sutlwileng but there is a constitutional and parliamentary process that we have to follow me go na le thulaganyo ya molao theo mo go le ya parliament e re tshwanetse gore re dire ka yone so i'm going to invite the honorable tamsa ngamabena ka jalo ke tle go kopa motlotlegi tamsa ngamabena to give us that response which was question number 3 when i started Hora, what then that we have listened to you gore a re ne ka rabo e e neng e le potso ya boraro ya gore go tle go diregala eng ka ditshwaelo tse lo tla bo ludintshitse after that he will thank everyone on behalf of the committee me morago ga mo o tla leboga botlhe mo bo emong jwa committee eh thank you very much chairperson um I think there was also there was a lot of suggestions which were were made today but I think in terms of the process of the of the committee itself now that we have listened we are going to consolidate all the oral submissions as well as the written submissions not only from this province but also from other provinces once that that process has been done the committee is going to deliberate further in terms of the of the bill but what is going to be at at the top of what we'll be discussing it will be the different submissions which came in from the different uh, provinces but also just to highlight some of the things that perhaps uh, were said here um there was a gentleman here um uh, mr tas muloto that spoke about the encroachment of the um prasa uh, um train areas or or prasa precinct which is there i think that also is something that will also be speaking about and also making sure that uh, tracks are being secured to make sure that there are no people that go into those tracks to commit suicide and all of those things but i think that the bill itself i think we must also remember and be mindful of the fact that we are dealing with a railway safety bill and some of the things which were said here unfortunately may not really be within our purview but there was also i think neli me who was a diplomat go go to toronto who made a great suggestion and oral submission that we need to incorporate uh, some of the um some of the uh what is this thing? that we needed to make sure that we we appoint competent boards there was a, an outcry that she made that we needed to make sure that we have competent boards which will be appointed by the by the committee and then also there was also um another um available uh, submission by nkabi opokabi mashabu that also spoke about the increased um workshops for people before they come into public hearings and will appeal to all the stakeholders which are there that this issue is also uh, been taken into consideration one other issue that was also raised by mr elias kekan was the issue of illegal dumping which is rife within the uh, some of the of the of the train um uh, precincts which are there and also the vegetation of the growth of trees and some of the uh, grasses which is there which also leads to uh, compromising of the safety of the, of the people there um i think also there was another one that we've also um, noted here um which also speaks about uh, making sure that we do international benchmarking exercises uh, with other countries so that we can make sure that our safety standards are up to up to par um i think there's a lot that was was noted uh, chairperson but i think in essence and also the issue of the definitions of the bill um in terms of some that need that needed to be incorporated i think it's a lot that um, was discussed as i said it was uh, a long day but we were listening that is why we were able to 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 mention you by name and mention some of the submissions that we have made here today and i think lastly um there was also a, a lucky pizza who also happens to be a ward councillor that spoke about the issue of transnet transnet does not fall within the purview of the portfolio committee on transport it falls within the purview of, of public enterprises but will gladly deliver the message because they are also our sister portfolio committee and also within government and i believe that we've also submitted um a a petition to the secretariat but will gladly 
make sure that um, they receive it. There was last submission that spoke about the community representation in terms of the composition of, of some of the posts. I think that's something that can be also discussed and deliberated by the committee. Um, uh, yeah, I think, thank you very much for everyone that uh, came here. And there were some really not so nice um, contributions that we had in terms of people having to climb underneath the trains. I think that was Mrs. Molife from Watt 32 that was reciting that story. I think those are some of the things that within a democracy must never happen. You can never have a situation where people are forced to go underneath a train. What if that train all of a sudden starts moving? Then you're going to have a lot of casualties. So there were some of the things where the issues of compensation were of train victims, people that have been victims of train accidents and incidents. What then happens to them? What then happens to their families? How are they then um, going to be assisted going forward? And also the issue of making sure that um, there are safety bridges which are built to make sure that the community is safe within those um, communities where railway exists, um, where they stay. So this is just to highlight that we're listening, really listening attentively and we're taking notes. And our notes will be reflective of the fact that these were submissions, but in essence, oral submissions which were done here uh, in, in, in the Northwest. But lastly, we can also still submit um, uh, some of the written submissions. As, you, as all of us have these, some of these uh, documents here, there's an email address, there's a cell phone number that is there that you can also use. Uh, Mrs. Karelse or Ms. Karelse is there, I think it's 0837098445. Use it wisely. Don't misuse the number. So asking everyone if you can also assist um, with that. So thank you very much to the people of Rustinbeck. We thank you so much. And can we also clap hands to our interpreters, the sign language, and everyone else? It's a very difficult and tough job, but I think they've been ex exceptional. But also to our colleagues here, um, the people who are assisting us with sound, and also our chairperson. Thank you very much, and everyone have a, a very good day. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Mabena. Mm. Okay. Yeah. As we wrap up the meeting, we ask that you remain seated. Lunch will be served where you are seated. Once more, a big thank you, and the meeting is therefore brought to a conclusion. The meeting has ended.